up? You could do this in a day? Ludwig is bugging? Uh, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, this is like day five. <laughs> Nuzlocke's take time. Nuzlocke's, to, to not mess up a Nuzlocke, you gotta put in the hours. How do you put on glasses if you can't find them in the first place? Uh, that's the paradox, isn't it? How do you see the glasses if you don't have glasses? Alright. Uh, Hump, thanks for the six months. Yeah, I mean, I, I especially Nuzlocke's are difficult when you've never done one before. Tell that to Purple Cliff. Wait, did Purple Cliff do it in a day? That must have been a long one. Because for me to do a Nuzlocke, it's my first ever one. I gotta take time. I gotta, gotta prepare. Gotta plan. Gotta think about it. You gotta do it. A sleep lock? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> You're already going faster than most Nuzlocke's. Uh, thanks, I guess. Wow, wow, thanks for the tier one humps. Not so great. Dane, Mocha Fox, Nemo. Thank you for the subs. Paulo, thank you for the subs. I appreciate it. Alright. Any special rules? Yeah, this is Pokemon Mogul Platinum. Of course there's special rules. Uh, this is regular Nuzlocke rules. This one took Purple Cliff 26 tries. Oh. Oh, all right, interesting. I'm King Pigeon. We just got the fifth badge, by the way, uh, last time. How's the audio? Is it loud, quiet? Is it good? Purple Cliff lost his dad and needed to start over again. Oh my god, that is so rough. Oh, ETA sus, thanks for the seven months. I, I always, what I do generally when I do this is I'll save the game and then I'll make a save state as well, just to guarantee. Because we've actually lost it once, and I had to use the save state instead of the actual game save. Um, Obscure Alex, thanks for the Prime. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we got a... This was the uh, the fifth badge. We had a pretty solid team for it. Is it randomized? No, no, no. I'll, I'll explain how this works in just a sec. Let me just get to the Pokemon Center. The, the audio... I think the audio is a little quiet. It usually sits at 18. There we go. Perfect. All right. Um, the timer is at 18 hours. Yeah, we're currently 18 hours into this, so let's add this. 18 and a half hours in, and I'll explain the rules for anyone that is just coming in for the very first time. Um, I, I, I'm sure the question's gonna come up. Pokemon videos on YouTube coming soon. I've been working on a big one, which is why they haven't uploaded it in a bit. Wait, doesn't something happen here? Yeah, story. Little dudes, you got the gym badge, yes. But I tell you, Mr. Glissa, I mean, the master is pretty awesome, right? Isn't this where the explosion happens, right? Why is your mom subbed? She has a permanent sub. She doesn't have to sub herself. I give her a permanent tier three. All right. Oh, master, listen, kid, you know your father won't deny that. Besides, you don't need me. Blah, blah, blah. Trouble brewing. Something about a bomb. No one messes with Pastoria. Hey, wait. Okay. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. And I'll show you guys what this challenge is all about. I just need to heal first. Give me a sec. Kaboom, exactly. Uh, Exdil, thank you for the prime. Legless Frog with the 15 months. Thank you so much for the support. Maju King with the tier one. Uh, this is a Ludlock. Do you know what a Ludlock is? If you don't, I'll explain it. It's uh, regular Nuzlocke rules, so the only Pokemon you can catch is the first Pokemon in a route. Uh, unless... You have already caught that Pokemon or that type of Pokemon. Like if you caught a Magikarp already. If a Gyarados or a Magikarp shows up, you can choose to catch another Pokemon. Um, so you can only catch the first Pokemon in a route. And that's the only one you can ever catch. Uh, if your Pokemon faints, it's dead forever. If you white out, you restart the entire game. Uh, I have to nickname Pokemon after Twitch subs. And if that Pokemon ever dies, you are banned. The person who is named after it gets banned until I beat the challenge. Uh, currently, we have only banned, I believe, five people. Um, there is an extra clause where if you get a shiny Pokemon, you can catch it whenever you like. Um, we did get a shiny Magikarp last week. So we do have a shiny Gyarados. One random Asian guy, thank you for the prime. And yeah, you'll only get nicknamed if you if you ask for it. But uh, yeah, I think that's the general rule set. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. We're at six deaths right now. Yeah, six Pokemon have died. Um, uh, Torua, Yamak, thank you for the primes. 
Uh, oh yeah, we did have a shiny slowpoke as well. The shiny slowpoke did die, unfortunately. It got arena trapped by a trap inch. So sad. So sad. Sagora, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Teen T Orbit, thank you for the prime. Danger with the prime. So three first primes in a, in a row? My goodness. Banned from your chat or channel? That is the same thing. That is the same thing. Oh man, I actually have a talking point today. I think it, it, it could be a hot take, actually. I might have a hot take for you guys. There's, there's a hashtag that was trending that I saw, and it was called Twitch Do Better. And uh, I have some thoughts about that. Um, <clears throat> but we'll, we'll, we'll get into the challenge first. So yeah, uh, also one extra rule is um, in this, Literally, we, we have infinite, like, uh, IV items and rare candy, or EV items and rare candies. Uh, but there is a rule that I cannot go higher than the next gym leader's highest Pokemon. Uh, basically, the purpose of that is to just cut out all the mindless grinding, so you guys don't have to see me fight level 2 Pidgeys for 4 hours with zero risk. So that is what we are doing. The next gym leader... Is, uh, let's see. It's highest level Pokemon. Uh, gym leader is level 49. So our Pokemon cannot go higher than level 49 uh, before we reach that gym leader. But it looks like we have a few things we'll have to do first. The next big thing is in Route 210, we do have to fight uh, a Pokemon trainer, Cutie. It was an Alakazam, a Mamoswine, a Golduck, a Lopunny, and a Torterra, which is terrifying. I'ma be honest. Because Alakazam is the biggest threat, it is... Oh my god, Bored Confused, thank you for the five subs, Mr. Games, GG, thank you for the tier one, Unhales, Got, Zawardo, Crabtree, Chrono, Slumper, thank you so much for all the subs, so many first subs, I appreciate that a lot. Um... What's a whiteout? When you lose, when you lose a battle. Uh, but yeah, this is on Mogul Platinum, which is a modified version of Renegade Platinum to add a bunch of Ludwig and his friends to the game. Would you say it's tor terrifying? Yes. This, this next, the next major battle we're gonna do against, uh, Cutie. She has a ma a Alakazam, Mamoswine, Golduck, Lopunny, and Torterra. Um... Alakazam, Psychic, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball. Mamoswine is Earthquake, Avalanche, Stone Edge, Ice Shard. Golduck is Moonblast, Surf, Psychic, Ice Beam. Lop Bunny is Strength, Jump Kick, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. And Torterra has Wood Hammer, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Rock Slide. Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I guess you could say it's going to be a little bit difficult. Dusk Noir for Alakazam. Alakazam is Shadow Ball. It has a super effective move against Dusker. Are they EV trained? I believe they are, yeah. It's it's rough. Like let, let's take a look at let's take a look at the Pokemon. Do you have any prank stories? Uh not really. Not too many. Blake, maybe one or two. Let's look at the bot. We need something to deal with an Alakazam. So we need a physically or a specially defensive wall that can take that isn't super effective by Psychic, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball. Do we happen to have a Blissey? <laughs> no. Gyarados is Crunch. Alakazam could outspeed potentially and KO us. That's the scary thing. Does Noir Shadow Sneak Bay one shot? I doubt it. But yeah, this is Mogul Platinum, so there's different Pokemon available. Uh, Shadow Ball is super effective against this. Milotic isn't bad, there's just Energy Ball. Yeah, Energy Ball though. Uh, this can get hit with a super effective Shadow Ball. Peek at the graveyard, we release our Pokemon. Wismer, what is, uh, does Xplod have good special defensive stats? It has a plus special defense, it is gentle. That could work. I can have Garchomp with this level cap. That's true. But Dazzling Gleam is super effective against it. 
Oh, wait, I can get... Can I get Metagross? Is it Metagross level 45? Hound Hour? Uh, uh, Hound Hour can get hit with a... I think the best is Dazzling Gleam. It might be able to survive one Dazzling Gleam and then we crunch. Well, before we do anything else, let's just get a Metagross. Fire does resist fairy, yeah. We could evolve Eevee into Umbreon, but then Dazzling Gleam is super effective against it. But yeah, we cannot go higher than level 49. Keep this in mind. Meteor Mash. I'm just gonna check. I'm pretty sure the accuracy is really low on this. Iron Head is better than Meteor Mash. I cannot at this point in the game, I can't I can't really risk misses that much. Lots of thoughts. Yeah, there's so much going on. We we do have to figure out how to get through this. Did Diglett have Poke Rus? I don't think so, but it doesn't really matter. Dazzling Gleam in Gen 4? Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is Mogul Platinum. It's been updated. Most of the Pokemon. Uh, all of the bad Pokemon have been, like, buffed a little bit to make them usable. Well, we finally got a Metagross. I actually kept this friggin' Pokemon all the way through. And yet, yeah, there's still no Eevee Lane. Hammer Arm. 90 accuracy. Brick Break is safer. I gotta go with Brick Break. Let's check the stats on this thing now. Yeah, Metagross is weak to Shadow Ball on this. Togekiss could be a good option. That's actually really smart. I kind of like the Togekiss play, potentially. But let's look at Nixus. I just want to check its stats out. Uh, let's compare it to, say... Okay, it does seem pretty good. Curse becomes a ghost type, like in later games? Yes, I believe so. Um, Metagross is now... Pretty strong. Yeah, we actually managed to keep Metagross for long enough. Does Duskar have payback? It can hit with a Shadow Ball. I can't risk that. I can't risk super effective moves. Um, can you use items in this rule set? Only if the opposing trainer is going to use items, and you can only use the number of items that they use. So, most battles, no, I cannot use items. But in, like, key battles, I can usually use, like, one potion. You'll survive a Shadow Ball. Yes, but Duskar probably won't KO it. That's the thing. Nothing is randomized. No. Mm, we can't get a Dragonite yet because it is level 49 is our cap right now. Garchomp is level 48, which, but I mean, here's the thing. We can't really use it until we get to near the end anyways, right? Hmm. I think Hound Hour will probably be... Um... Looks like its special attack can be boosted. Plus defense minus speed. That's actually so bad for us. Uh, it has flash fire. My space memes, thank you. Uh, Terra Lib. Thank you for the prime. Dull Newt, not Eric. Talking Ben Camo. <gasps> Sabathy Price, thank you so much for the subs. Age, 14 months. Jamba Rambo, thank you. Houndoom hasn't been changed at all. Its stats haven't been changed. You don't have to Dust Noir. Oko it, you just gotta first attack and then shadow sneak because it's priority. That's true. We could hit it with a shadow punch and then shadow sneak. What is your attack? 96, that's actually not bad. Do I actually calc this? I, I hate having to calc stuff, but I think we might calc this. Sacrifice Gyarados, you're cute. Glanny, thanks for the four. Give it spell tag for boosted moves as well, yeah. Nerd Queen. I'm not calcing the defense stat, I'm calcing if I can survive a critical hit shadow ball. Can I survive a critical hit shadow ball? from an Alakazam? That's what I need to check. 
Alakazam, blank set. Let's give it a, uh, a good nature that boosts special attack, because it's, uh, uh, what, what is the nature again? Plus special attack, minus attack. Let's give it a modest thing, like 0.1%. Like, I can't risk losing Pokemon. Because, like, Dusk Dusker is incredibly useful. It is such a monster tank. Uh, Cunicular Hand, thank you so much for the Prime. Hype Train, cruising. Did I open up my, uh, my updater thing? Okay, yeah, it is, uh, it is open. Good. So that sub count on the top right is accurate. Awesome. Pro Mama Llama, thanks for the two. Static Ghost, thank you for the three months. Do you have access to Trick Room yet? Probably, but it's hard to use it properly. Uh, it's, it's, that, that's some, like, high-level thinking. Anyways, um, Alakazam versus a Dusk Noir blank set. Let's just give it a, uh, I think Alakazam is level 44. Dusker, we can make it maybe level 46. And its special defense is 133. Wow, it's special defense IVs are actual garbage. It has like a 9 in special defense for IVs. That's wild. Um, Trick Room would work best in doubles, yeah? Okay. Nazarek, thank you for the 5 subs. I really appreciate that, thank you. What's the nature? Plus, special, plus defense minus special attack. Which is, is a good one for Dusker. Because we're not going to use special attack ever. <clears throat> yeah, it has a base 135 special defense. It's it Dusk Noir is actually kind of a monster. But anyways, let's uh let's give this Pokemon Shadow Ball and see if it one hit KOs. Shadow Ball does 54 to 64.8%. If it critical hits, Dusk Noir goes down. I do not have any focus sashes, no. There are zero EVs in this hack. That is incorrect, as my Pokemon have EVs. Please only speak if you know what you're talking about. Um. I do have Shadow Sneak, but that's I don't think that's gonna one-hit KO, KO the Alakazam. Let's let's check. Uh let's check to see. Can I swap these somehow? How do you can you swap the Pokemon in uh, in damage? Oh, wait, that's actually in Sword and Shield. Wait. That was in Sword and Shield. Uh, the, the trainers have zero EVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, it has a life orb. It is modest. It is level 44, I believe. Yes. Zero EVs, you'll survive a crit. We'll see. Um, Alakazam versus... Alakazam and shitty defense stats, it might. We'll see, I'm, I'm gonna do the calcs here. I'm gonna do the calcs. I wanna guarantee that we win this. Weird Connie, thank you for the 22. Uh, I do have the spell tag item, I think. Uh, versus... Dusk Noir. Gonna go OU oh, tank, it is plus defense. Let's go level 46 for this thing. Uh, let's give it nine. Good. It has leftovers, and you are going to use Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. Okay. Shadow Ball, it does 65 to 78% with a life orb. Let's check the other way around, though. Um. Let's check Shadow Sneak. Uh, what is my attack stat? Let's double check. My attack stat is 96. That will do 58.6 to 72.4%. So Shadow Sneak is not a one-hit KO. Even if we had a choice band, it wouldn't be enough. 
Shadow sneak with a sash? Uh, I could. If we had a sash. Sash can be bought in the game corner. With what money? We used it all already. And that's only one use. I'm pretty sure a focus sash... Once you use it once, it's gone forever. I don't want to waste three hours getting a single focus sash. There's a better way to do it. Maybe with a life orb? I'll check with life orb. I doubt it. Seventy-seven to ninety-three percent. Okay. Try and get Shuckleberry. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to. Uh, if it's Shadow Sneak, I'm thinking. It's very easy to get money in this game, Petrie. Yeah. Calc Houndoom. Okay, I'll calc Houndoom. Houndoom, because we can't even risk it. Let's do blank set. Um, let's check Houndoom stats. Um, it's Hound Hour. Let's just say level 44, and I'm just going to say it's special defense. IV is 15. Um, can this take... What is it going to use? It's going to use... Uh, Dazzling Gleam, right? Dazzling Gleam? How much does Dazzling Gleam do? Level up Meganium and teach it screens? Dazzling Gleam is neutral? Yeah, what's the power of Dazzling Gleam? I'm not sure. Does anyone know? Can you get hit when you switch in? Well, you it opens up. It's 80, 90, 80, 80, okay. Okay, uh, Dazzling Gleam will deal 55%. It's a- it's- if it crits, it KOs. We cannot risk a crit. I- I can't justify risking a crit. Um... Alakazam is just a monster. Are you sure it's modest? I don't know because the document doesn't say what it is. So, there is nothing that I can really do other than assume it's modest. I have to assume it's modest because there's nothing else to do, right? It just says question mark for the nature. We do have a Toka Kiss. Um... I think the best that it can do is Psychic Tokakiss. Where is Tokakiss? Oh, we don't have it yet. Um, plus attack, minus speed. Just the worst. Um, we could probably get a Shadow Ball on this. Metagross will not completely wall it. It has Shadow Ball, which is super effective. You can evolve Eevee into an Umbreon. It has Dazzling Gleam, which is super effective. We need to prepare for the worst. Torterra can survive an attack. I think Torterra can survive a Psychic. No, it can't. It is 79 special defense. Check Iggly Buff's nature. Yeah, we, we, we're trying to be really, really careful here. Quirky neutral. Why is it special attack 28? Do you think Armaldo will KO? <laughs> but isn't it special defense like horrendous? I don't know. This is so tough. I, right away, we're just dropped into this situation where it's like really difficult. Do you have a Kassib berry? I don't think we have any really useful berries. You're going to do all of this and lose to a crit. This is a Nuzlocke, yeah. We're doing all of this just to not get critical hit, and if we get critical hit, we're fine. <clears throat> uh, I think our best strategy will probably be to try and outspeed the Alakazam. 
Wait, I just realized there was EVs on the Alakazam. Wait a minute. I accidentally put EVs on the Alakazam. Wait, 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 we could be fine. Let me let me double check Dust Noir. Uh, Dusk Noir, level 44. It has, uh... One thirty-three. If it uses psychic, that does over fifty percent. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Okay. Huh? Can you show calcs? Eh. That's even with just psychic. Not even a super effective move. You know what we might be able to do? Plus defense, minus special attack. We could just outspeed with Aerodactyl, one hit KO with a crunch. Right? Would that work? This is set mode. Here, let's check Aerodactyl's, uh, Aerodactyl's potential. I hate, I feel like starting like this and we just don't have any momentum, but let's just go 46. Or actually, what level are we? We're level 20 right now. Uh, it has 52 attack right now. It actually has a really good attack, EV, or IV. Yeah, it has a 29 attack, EV. Okay, cool. Low is a 25. Okay. So let's bring this up to level 46. We're going to give it 252 attack IEVs and 252 speed. It's literally just going to be an open sweeper. Um, at level 46, that was 142. Let's give it crunch now. Uh, there is zero chance this Alakazam outspeeds. Crunch is a guaranteed Oko. All right. We have a solution for Alakazam. Because we will outspeed guaranteed and KO guaranteed. Awesome. We will be using Sly. Very good. Does it learn Crunch? I believe it does. Aerodactyl learns Crunch at level 25. Okay, Sly's got this. Now, that was only the first Pokemon that we have to deal with. Um, she has a Mamoswine, Golduck, Lopunny, and Torterra. Alakazam can't hit Dust Noir with Psychic? Yes, it can. Dust Noir is a ghost type. You left leftovers on your Dust Noir? Yeah, this is Dawn. This is a Dawn fight. Uh, it's on, apparently on Route 210 we fight Dawn. Pretty, pretty sure Alakazam is plus speed nature? Doesn't matter. Uh... If we train the uh, Aerodactyl right, it'll be good. Aerodactyl should be able to handle the Lop Bunny. No, because Lop Bunny has uh, Fire Punch and Ice Punch and Jump Kick, and Lop Bunny has a Choice Band. Oh, Lop Bunny has a Choice Band. Interesting. Uh, we could probably manipulate that then. Does Arrow die to crit on the switch in? We're not switching in. Why do you guys keep talking about a switch in? She opens up with Alakazam. We're just going to open up with Alakazam. We're only going to use Sly for the first turn. If we lock it into Jump Kick, we can switch into Dusker, but how do we lock it into Jump Kick? That's the problem. Because he uses the wrong move. We're screwed. U-turn Aerodactyl for momentum? That's a good idea. Yes, we'll probably do that. Unless we get Ice Sharded by Mamoswine. Wanna use Ice Punch? Yeah. If it switches that in. Like, they have Mamoswine as Ice Shard, Golduck has Ice Beam, Lopunny has Ice Punch, Torterra has Iron Head. We literally just can't use anything else. Uh, but Lopunny is normal fighting in this game. Let's figure out a solution for Mamoswine, though. Mamoswine is Earthquake, Avalanche, Stone Edge, and Ice Shard. 
Uh, it does have Scrappy as well, yeah. Uh, Lot Bunny does have the Scrappy ability. Uh, because they have Strength, Jump Kick, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch, I think the best play for Lot Bunny is a Burned Milotic. Right? If we if we bring in a burn Milotic, it'll work. Cause Milotic has the uh, the ability where if it's burned, it gets a fifty percent bonus. Uh, Rotom Wash should be able to kill Mamoswine. Mamoswine has Avalanche, Stone Edge, Ice Shard, and Earthquake. Yes, it absolutely should. I agree. Yeah, because that defense goes up to 120-ish. Houndoom for Lop Bunny? It has Jump Kick. No. And we do have Recover, so we can just, like, Recover and Scald the Mamoswine. Okay. So this is the solution for Mamoswine. Sweppy. I don't think it can really do anything. The Stone Edge is the worst that it can do. But it should be fine. Um... Because, yeah, Alakazam, Mamoswine, Golduck, Lop Bunny. We have a solution for Alakazam, we have a solution for Mamoswine. Let's deal with Golduck next. Golduck has Wise Glasses, Moonblast, Surf, Psychic, Ice Beam. <clears throat> Do we have anything that can take all of that? Moonblast, Surf, Psychic, Ice Beam. If we had, like, a Steel Water type, that'd be cool. Or, like, a... Uh, I don't know. Milotic can tank it. Milotic can potentially tank Lop Bunny for sure, yeah. Rotom Wash is a solid pick in general. There are a lot of physical attackers for sure, yeah, once we have dealt with Mamoswine or Alakazam. I think we'll take Rotom Wash. Um, just in case. Why is he Ludwin? I'm winning. Yeah, I, I think we're going to take Rotom Wash no matter what. So we're going to take this for the first Pokemon. We're going to take this for the Mamoswine slash Lopunny. This for the Mamoswine slash Lopunny, just in case. Calm Mind with Metagross. There's nothing we can set up on. Uh, Gold... <laughs> Meganium covers Golduck? It, Golduck has Ice Beam. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Maybe Sceptile? Uh, no, because we'd have to switch in. What about Charizard? Charizard is Fire Dragon in this. So it'd be neutral. At best. A Bomba Snow for the Gold Duck? Potentially? Hmm. Is Blastoise Water Steel in this? Is it? If it is Water Steel, that would be so sick. There's no shot though, right? Uh, no, it is not. Okay. Golduck is a water psychic type in this, yeah. This is set. This is set mode. You can use Encore with Togekiss to lock Pokemon into a weak move. It's only for a few turns, though. I don't know if we can deal with that. Switch it in a water move. And then outspeed the Golduck. We can't guarantee a water move is happening, though. That's the problem. Hmm. Do the trainers and gym leaders have the same teams? Almost the same. There are some minor changes. Bait the water move with Aerodactyl? I don't know how the AI works. Because, here's the thing, we open up with Aerodactyl against Alakazam, it's a guaranteed one-hit KO against the Alakazam. No question there. What happens next? What are they gonna switch in? 
because they have a super effective move on every single Pokemon against uh, Aerodactyl. Right? So, are they going to send in Mamoswan with Ice Shard, Golduck with Ice Beam, Surf, Lopunny with Ice Punch, or Torterra with Iron Head? Is this a mono water run? No. Do I only have water Pokemon? I've... Two water Pokemon. Three. Three water. Probably who's ever earliest? That is not true, as we discovered. The one that can KO. And I'm pretty sure they all can KO. That's the thing. So it's gonna be random. Get a Spiritomb? The Spiritomb cursed itself to death. I wish. How about Crunch Gyarados? It's against a special attacker, though. Go grab a Skarmory, or is that encounter taken? We're not able to get the Skarmory yet. We've we've waited to try and get that. Don't you have any Dark-type Pokemon? I mean, I do, but that'd be stupid, because it has Moonblast. I couldn't use it. It has Moonblast. Use Pachirisu. Is Pachirisu's special defense boosted or something? Plus attack, minus speed. Uh. Umbreon, maybe? That It's just gonna take Moonblast. Gyarados does have great special defense, I agree. Honestly, Sidon might be really good because it has shell armor. It can't get hit with a critical hit. Its special defense is really high. And we could probably teach it a super effective move against Golduck, right? Like, I bet this thing learns Dark, dark Pulse or something. Yeah, it learns Thunderbolt. Do we have Thunderbolt? Nope, we do not have Thunderbolt. Shockwave? There's no shot at learn Shockwave, right? Can you turn the audio up? No. It's by Valley Windworks. We don't have Surf yet. Why not Rotom Wash for Golduck? We could completely reset Stall's IV EVs and train Special Defense. Try Obama Snow. Okay, uh, if we use an Obama Snow, what's it gonna use against me? Psychic? Wash is damaged after Mamoswine? Yeah. We can always reset EVs, that's fine. That plus special attack sucks. Use Dust Noir for Gold Duck. That might actually be a really good idea. I kinda like that. We could we could change Dusk Noir. And boost its special defense. Because it, right now it's fully invested in defense, I believe. So what we could do is we could switch in Dust Noir. We have leftovers. We could just, like, Thunder Punch it. And then if that doesn't KO, we'll hit it with a Shadow Sneak. Yeah? We might... Let's... let's yeah, I think, actually, I like this. Dusker could be pretty good. Break out the abacus. I hate that we're this far in and we need to do calcs now. But I mean, this this battle is so difficult. Why not Swampert? Uh, I think Dusker is better. That special attack, though? Well, we're not going to use a special attacking move. 
Here, let me double check. Uh, Golduck. Blank set. It has Surf. <clears throat> uh, it has Surf. Uh, how much does Surf do in this? Shadow Punch do more than Thunder Punch? Yeah, yeah, we can teach a Shadow Punch, that's fine. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, how much damage does it do? Because that that's what this has changed to. It's all Pokemon in Sword and Shield stats. Seth Razor, thanks for the six. I'm pretty sure in older gens it has 95, but it's 90 now? Okay. So Surf will be doing 90. Uh, we have to assume it's modest. Uh, it has a Wise Glasses. It has the wise glasses, and I have to assume that it is modest. Against our Dusk Noir, which is going to be level 46. The uh, Gold Duck is level 44. This is so spooky. Is it Ultra Sun Ultra Moon? It might be Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I'm not exactly sure. This is tricky. Sunburn Icarus, thank you for the Prime Seth Fraser. Bunt Vitten, Mr. Chip Skylark. A base and door pajama Hannah. Uh, you got your merch yesterday? Let's go. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully you like it. Uh, sushis, Horus, thank you for the subs. I appreciate it. Pandalorf. Thank you as well. Is this game harder than normal? Yeah. Yeah, way harder than normal. Um, okay, so... Dusk Noir currently has, at level 44, zero special defense EVs. It has 21 special defense IVs. Let's max this out to 252. Alright, I'm gonna see if Surf can KO it. A Wise Glasses Surf versus a Dusk Noir does 11 to 15 percent that can't be right a, a modest wise glasses oh that's goldine yeah okay well that makes more sense gold duck <laughs> let's try that again surf <laughs> It's like, why does that do so much? We, we, I was doing calcs with a gold dean, not a gold duck. Uh, hardy, no, modest. Level 44. Alright, it does... 26 per- 26 to 32 percent. Alright. Uh, so we can switch this in. We'll take a quarter health, but we'll get leftovers recovery. And, uh, I think we can guaranteed live two hits with leftover. So I think Dusker with a Shadow Punch... Uh, I mean... There's- there's no shot it- uh, Minus special attack? Yeah, there's no shot it doesn't survive, right? And then I think, uh, a Shadow Punch right back will take it out. Shadow Punch, let's just double check. This is so much focus, dude. Where do you see the changes in stats? Uh, it's on the, the calc screen. Just give me a sec. Um, it is impish, which is plus defense, minus special attack. Good. Where are you in the game? We just got the fifth badge. We're prepping for like a major fight now. You can arrow out speed and kill with crunch. If something dies, we can do that. Yes. Uh, but yeah, shadow punch. Um, its attack is 96, bro. It has seven IVs in attack, this Dust Noir. Jesus. Uh, anyway, Shadow Punch does, um... Shadow Punch is super effective, so I'm actually going to boost this to 120. Shadow Punch does 20... It is 47.8 to 56.5%. 
Are you willing to attack a Pokemon? I don't want to. I really don't want to. It's it's barely a two shot. Have I lost a run yet? I have not lost a run. I want to do this on the first try. Yeah, because Shadow Punch is super effective because in this hack, Golduck is Water Psychic. Aragu, thank you. Add lefties on the ca on the calc. Yeah, it says after leftovers, I think. It says uh hmm. Man has literally spent this entire stream in prep mode. We got a prep! I for didn't realize there was a next fight. You know what, just just to ignore the prep thing, I wanna There there was something trending on Twitter today that I saw that really it really frustrated me. The, what was, uh, trending was, uh, Twitch do better. I believe. Yeah, it's like, Twitch do better, and there's so many tweets that are like, have so many likes. And, the, the biggest one, it frustrated me. It frustrated me a little bit. Because most of the complaints that I've seen, alright? Most of the complaints that I saw was like, if someone is banned, they can still see your stream. Uh, there was another one where it was like, I got, uh, botted the other day and my chat was filled with spam. Like, absolutely hateful, disgusting spam. And I just have one question. How is Twitch supposed to do better with that? Like... If someone is banned in your chat, right? They can't see your chat, but they can see your stream. And people were complaining they shouldn't be able to see the stream. How do you stop that? Just to open up an incognito tab so you're not logged in. Like, they're gonna see your stream if they wanna see your stream. Banning them is not gonna change anything. Like, Twitch can't just go into your computer and shut off Twitch for you. Like, IP banning, you have- it takes like five seconds to set up a VPN. It's literally- it doesn't make any sense. Sure, you could ban the IP, but like... Is it really worth it? IP banning doesn't work. It literally does nothing. Like, if- if someone is banned and they're gonna get into your stream, they're gonna get into your stream. Like, Twitch can't do anything about that. And then the second thing, someone got, uh, got botted and their, and their chat was spammed, right? Like, if you don't want to see something in chat, you can add that. They have the tools to add that to your moderation settings. So this person's chat was filled with a hateful stuff. Block those hateful words. Because, like, how is Twitch going to detect when a random account that has never typed before is a bot. How do they know that? Twitch can't know what account is a, a bot until they do stuff that behaves like a bot. You know, Twi Twitch quite often, like once a month, I'll lose like a thousand followers because someone follow botted. Some idiot follow botted. Twitch deletes them once they realize they're bots, but you can't see the future. You're not able to know if someone is a bot until they act like a bot. So this person got botted. And they're complaining about Twitch. When Twitch literally couldn't do anything about it unless Twitch can see the future. How can Twitch see the future? How could they do better with that? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's like asking someone to punish people before they've done any crimes. Anyways, I saw that and was frustrated. There are things that Twitch can justifiably be criticized for, but those two things that were the highest on the on the trending, it was it was I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like there are some justifiable things that Twitch could do better. Like the uh, for streamers, the I think like the the split for the the money that streamers make that could be higher. Every other platform. I believe is higher. Um, 
like, it... All the tools are there, and a lot of these complaints are things that have already been fixed, but the streamers are kind of just uh, ignorant. Not, not everybody, like, there are genuinely justifiable complaints here, I'm scrolling through, but the, the few things that are really big are like... Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe the ease of use of them? I don't know. Like, here's the thing. When... When we occasionally get raided by bots because some idiot does it, it, we could stop it in literally five seconds. Like, genuinely. We, like, the mods... Do you know, know what to do. It's a very easy thing. You type like one or two things in chat and then the, the bot raid is dealt with. Like it takes two chat messages to deal with a bot raid. And the people are complaining about Twitch not doing anything when Twitch has already done it. There are tools for that. <laughs> Anyways, that's my little short rant on, on a Twitter trend that doesn't make any sense. I just wanted to, to bring that up, because I, I, I looked at it and it just frustrated me, because Twitch already has tools for that. For that specific thing that you're complaining about. You're just not using them. Bot raid stop tutorial? Uh, so once you recognize a bot raid has happened, maybe like 10 messages go through. You put it in sub only mode, and you ban the messages that they were typing. All of the keywords that they were typing, you just ban those messages from your chat so they can't type them anymore. Or, alternatively, you can just set it so if anyone sends that message, they're auto-banned. Two messages. Two messages in chat from a mod. Fixes it. There are genuinely other other criticisms though, and uh, all those people are, are very uh, like justified in, in complaining. But with that specific one thing, doesn't make any sense. Is that why some messages that don't make much sense to be banned get filtered? Yes. Like sometimes, like maybe once a day. One person might get timed out for something that it was just innocent, but they just happened to type something that uh, triggered off like the the filter or the uh, the banned words list. Sunny day and brute force the whole team. There's so many water types though. Milo for gold duck. We're already low on health with the mylotic. So yeah, okay. Just a summary again. What what are we doing with? What are we doing with here? <clears throat> Jade, get thanks for the eight months. Uh, so the next fight is Cutie. We, it has a level 44 Alakazam, Mamoswine level 44, Golduck level 44, Lop Bunny level 44, Torterra level 45. We have a solution for the Alakazam. We're going to one-hit KO with our, uh, with our Aerodactyl. The Mamoswine comes out. If the Mamoswine comes out, it has Earthquake, Avalanche, Stone Edge, Ice Shard. Uh, we can deal with it with either a Burn Milotic or a Rotom Wash. Uh, Lop Bunny, same thing. It has Strength, Jump Kick, Fire Punch, Ice Punch. We can deal with it with either Rotom Wash or Milotic, whichever works out. We can deal with that. Um, now we just need to deal with the Golduck and the Torterra. Golduck has Wise Glasses, Moonblast, Surf, Psychic, Ice Beam. Um... Metagross doesn't have the best special defense, but I believe, uh... The scary thing is I want to deal with it using Dusk Noir, but it does deal a quarter of my health. So if it gets one crit on the way in, we can only attack it once and we can only deal up to 56%, but most likely it'll deal under that. Uh, so we don't have a guarantee KO on Golduck because we could get crit here. So I think what I may do instead is I think side on Sidon cannot get crit. It has shell armor. We maximize the HP. What is it? What is the ability on this? Neutral. We could probably maximize the HP. <clears throat> or 
one hour in and zero gameplay. O T Jep. Shut up. Um. Lapras can learn energy ball. That would be cool. Okay. Um. Got him. Yeah. Get get fricked, dude. I'm gonna check to see if it can learn energy ball. If it can learn energy ball, it does 90. Yo. It cannot learn energy ball. Who's lying? It can learn shockwave. What the heck? Uh, can it learn shadow ball? It cannot. Doesn't Metagross beat Golduck? If we have to switch in, I don't think so. Um... Nobody gets through a Nuzlocke, a hard Nuzlocke like this, without some prep. Bug Buzz? Think you can learn Bug Buzz? No? It does get Thunderbolt and Thunder? Yeah, which makes less sense. I just want a, I just want a super effective move. Grass Knot? <laughs> Calm Mind? Uh, it doesn't really help too much, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have Thunderbolt yet, and I can't get it until I get Surf, which is in a bit. <laughs> Why don't you set up a light screen? We could, but like, eh. Rotom can get Dark Pulse. Yeah, but it's gonna be weak from the Lop Bunny or Mammoth Swine. Probably Shockwave is our best bet. Because that'll do 120. <clears throat> All right, let's check the stats really quick. Side on. Uh, it's at level 35 right now. I'm going to do a calc really quick. Uh, just on Lapras. Lapras, UU special attacker. Sure. It's going to be zero. Its special defense is going to be maxed out 242. 252. HP is going to be maxed out as well. But we're at, at level 35 right now. Let's check the stats to begin with. Zero. Zero. Okay. So it has really good uh, HP IVs. I think. Not really good, but it has 24 on, in HP. And special defense is also... Uh, decent. It is 21. Lapras has pretty good IVs all around, so if we go 252 on HP and 252 on Special Defense, let's see if it can survive a, uh, probably Dazzling Gleam is the best move that this thing has. And you guys said Dazzling Gleam does, uh, some amount of damage. Dazzling Gleam is 90, right? Eighty? Only eighty, okay. So, it looks like if my Lapras gets to level 45... Uh, this Golduck with Dazzling Gleam, or Moonblast, sorry, it's Moonblast. Yeah, 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 Moonblast. Uh, Psychic does more because of Stab, that is true. How much does Psychic do? Ninety? With the stab is 135. Uh, okay, here we go. Psychic will do 20 to 24%. So with leftovers, it is a possible six hit KO. I think I think Sidon has got this. I'ma be honest. Uh, our special attack will go up to 104 most likely. Maybe not. Let's go. Let's give this a 15. Uh, so let's use a uh, shockwave here. Shockwave. It uh, does 31% to 39%. A three hit KO. Lapras is our answer for Golduck. You can outspeed and use an ice move on Torterra. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, against the Torterra. I thought. I could outspeed and use an ice move with Torterra against Golduck. No, right, yeah. 
Yeah, against the Torterra, 100%. We could outspeed and use an ice move. Yes, I just I was confused about what you were talking about. Um, <laughs> that's a good strategy. Yes, I like that. Because uh, it only has a citrus berry. C stand, thank you for the five. Add rain dance to shockwave. What does that mean? Um, so, Torterra has wood hammer, earthquake, iron head, and rock slide. So, if we have a. We have to switch in on one of those moves. How are we going to survive one of those moves? Yo, what's up, Ozbot? Uh, rock slide, yeah. Crobat isn't an option. I mean, Crobat can't learn an ice move. Maybe Ice Fang? Uh, earthquake. Rock slide is tough. That's your Aerodactyl? Please, do not my ass. Don't worry. I will not your ass, okay? Use me. I mean, okay, but... <laughs> Wild Weasel and Weasel, thank you for the five! Uh, you mean the Pokemon, or...? Uh, I don't think we can for now, because it has Woodhammer. <laughs> what Pokemon sur uh, resists steel, ground, rock, and grass, and can learn an ice move? Honestly? Dragonite? We can't get a Dragonite yet, and it doesn't resist. Do you outspeed in one shot with Lapras? Well, we'd have to switch Lapras in, because it's set mode. And if it happens to use Woodhammer, then Lapras dies. Because if, if Torterra comes out before Lapras is out, then we're screwed. Right? So we need to deal with this Torterra, and we need a Pokemon that can at least take a hit. Because, here's the thing, what happens if we take out the Alakazam, and then they send in Torterra, because Iron Head will kill the... Because Iron Head will kill, right? Iron Head can kill, and they could switch in Torterra. You know what? Dusker with Ice Punch. Dusker with Ice Punch would do it, right? Dusker's defense is insane. Alright, I'm not even gonna do the calcs. Dust Noir could do it. Um, and we don't need to train its special defense at all. Because we already have the solution for Golduck. Uh, the solution for Golduck is a EV trained Sidon. Because yeah, we get Ice Punch, and then if the first hit doesn't KO, we can always Shadow Sneak. But I'm pretty, we can take hits. Our defense is insane. Uh, let's let's have one backup Pokemon. Uh, although you know what, I'm pretty sure that this will work just fine. Yeah, this is all this is all fine because um Yeah, this will work. New mustache, I just haven't shaved today. Cool. Locke, thank you for the three months. You wanna know the insane thing about fly in recent gens? Was boosted to 100 100. Absolutely insane. So let's go uh, EV train our Pokemon super quick here. Uh, fortunately, it does have an EV training thing, so we have to do this super fast. So check out th this mod is super nice with uh, training. To EV train, we need to. This is an EV train person. It just gives you everything you want. Uh, we just need the power. Power promotes attack. Yes, we need to max our attack and speed on Sly. Power Bracer, and we just need to do this battle six times. 
If you weren't streaming, what career would you have pursued? Uh... Depression. I have no idea, dude. I was so lost. No, no. Attack. Uh, hi. I probably would have gone back to school for, like, a math degree. Yeah, so all we need to do is just wing attack. And six battles gives us, I believe, exactly 252, um, attack, uh, EVs. So... Any deaths today? We've literally just been strategizing the entire day on one very difficult battle coming up. We're just- we've been strategizing for one battle. Ideas on a prediction? Um... The prediction could be... Will I lose a Pokemon during the cutie fight? Watch, is it super easy? It's only super easy if you've prepared. You need seven battles? Are you sure? I believe we get 36 or... I'm pretty sure it's only six. Is this the third battle that I'm going into? I'm not sure. I can't remember which battle. Six is enough, yeah? Okay. This is the third battle? Okay, I was reading chat. You get 42 per battle and six battles is exactly 252, which is exactly enough. Awesome. Yeah, 42 per battle. That's good. Got decent chat engagement for a channel of this size. I do my best. I do my best, man. John the Basilisk, thanks for the tier 1. Yeah, this person, if, if, if this was in every Pokemon game, it'd be a much better place. Yeah, 6 is enough for the Bracer. We do have a Bracer. So we'll do this for attack, and we'll do this for speed, and then we'll just... There we go, there's our crunch. A critical move. Okay, that was battle number four, correct? Don't level lever here? I can't. I can't overlevel here. We'll be fine. It is not 42 per battle. It is with the power bracer. It is. John the Basilisk, oh my god. Dude, thank you for the 20 gift subs. Dude, I... I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Alright, which battle was that again? Was that battle 5? Is this the last one? Now, that was battle 5? Kiro, thank you for the prime. Okay, cool. So this is battle 6, then all we need to do is raise speed and then we're ready for the fight. Here we go. <clears throat> then we'll just give it the speed uh, the speed one, do six of those fights, and we're free uh, to, to level this guy up. If we go higher, it, it actually doesn't matter. If we go, if we do too many, it's, it really... It affects one stat. <laughs> Alright, let's get the speed one now. Uh, weight, belts. No. HP, defense... Where is it? Where's the speed one? Speed, power anklet. Good. Okay. Cool. Uh, speed. High. Awesome. And we get to do it again. Pidgeot. Does game have a sort inventory button? Probably. I would. I would guess it does. Yeah. Um, Bracer gives an extra four in the stat that you're getting. So each Pokemon technically gives you seven. Okay, this is battle number two. Good. Which game is this? This is Mogul Platinum. It is in the title. Is the Fog Route the next place in the story? I'm not exactly sure. But it doubled? No, it actually just adds four. So even if a Pokemon doesn't give you any, you'll get four of that stat anyways. All right. That was battle number two. This is battle number three. We're almost free. Yeah, Macho Brace doubles, but the power items uh, give a little more than that. Yeah, you're probably thinking of the Macho Brace. 
Why don't you change the category? If you can show me where the Mogul Platinum category is on Twitch, maybe I'll do that. Until Mogul Platinum exists. Even if Mogul Platinum exists, I wouldn't do it. No one's. Everyone that Twitch has said in to Twitch has said specifically to like the Pokemon community, if you want, you can always stream in the most recent Pokemon game because if someone wants to watch Pokemon, they're not looking for a specific game most of the time. You can manipulate the AI into not using wood hammer if you example switch into a grass type and switch to lapras won't attack with lapras because we'll use attack the grass type with it. Yeah, yeah, but I don't I don't I'm not that good at pivoting. What even is a mogul nuzlocke? It's not a mogul nuzlocke, it's a mogul platinum nuzlocke. The game is mogul platinum and it's a nuzlocke. It's actually a ludlock. Which battle is this by the way? Which battle am I on? Uh yeah, if you could unpause that, Dennis, that'd be great. You are so spicy today, thanks. I'm saying thanks for the two. This is battle number four? Alright, thank you. Good stuff. 16 months, kinda crazy, alright. What attempt is this? This is- I wanna do this on my first attempt. I wanna do this first try. This is attempt one. I only pay attention to the strategy part of the game, not the grind part. Exactly, yeah. The strategy is the best part about Nuzlocke, that's why you do them. Which is why they've added this to make it so you don't have to grind. Like, this is like, instead of grinding for two hours to EV train your Pokemon perfectly, you just get your Pokemon. There are, I think there's six bands. Because, like, this would normally take, like, an hour or two. Like, we, d we did actual EV grinding in my one Wooper challenge, right? You guys remember that? That took, like, two or three hours of just fighting wild Pokemon over and over, trying to fight the right ones. It wasn't hard, it just took time. Go up! Thank you so much. Is that battle number six? Are we done? Are you actually attacking or is it auto? I was actually attacking. King of Brawl, thanks for the three. Was that battle number six? That was five? We'll do one more, just in case. Uh, our level cap right now is level 49, I think. Let's see, the next gym leader is... Gym leader 6... No. Wait, what? Gym Leader 6, Icarus, level 53. Why did I think our level cap was 49? Huh. Cutie's level, perhaps? No, Cutie's max level is 45. Is the cutie fight capped? No, it's it's gym leaders. Gym leaders are the cap. I must have been looking at the wrong Pokemon. Oh yeah, it says Canalav City. And I just read that and I was like, oh, Canalav City, that's the gym leader. But that's Canalav City rival Pokemon trainer Clevin. Mmm. Gotcha. That's what I was reading. Clevin is a level 49 Napoleon. Or the gym leader is a level 53. Yeah, we really, really need to be careful not to, to over-level, um... Uh... A lot of the Pokémon in our be uh, in our in our box. Uh, especially DN, we, we really need to make sure that DN doesn't get over-leveled. Um, because that's super critical to winning this. Uh, the, the Gym Leader, at least. <sighs> okay, um, so we're done EV training Sly. Is Clevin not a boss battle? I believe it's only, um... Uh, gym leaders. Oi, Kato, thanks for the 21. DN? Yeah, these nuts. Uh, let's see. 
Give side on HP and special defense. Item take. Item take. I actually got you. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky is thanks to the five. I appreciate it. Is what's the sword button again? Maybe there isn't a sword button. I don't know. Anyways, we need to raise the HP. Side on. Good. Uh, HP high. So we need to do six of these battles, and then six of the other, and then we are done. Shockwave. If we have a Breloom, we can solo the 6th gym. Well, we have a Breloom, fortunately. Is the Lovelock really hard? Considering I've never done a Nuzlocke, and this is a harder version of Pokemon Platinum? Yes. It is, it, it's... The... Here's the, here's the hard thing about Nuzlocke's. Here is, is my, my thoughts on a Nuzlocke. I feel like in a Nuzlocke, almost every single one is winnable, right? Almost every single Nuzlocke is winnable if you put in the time. But you gotta put in the time. That's the hard part. Being patient enough to plan everything out and not screw it up. If you just think through everything, you're pretty much never gonna mess it up. But, you know, getting every strategy and actually executing that, it takes so much patience that it's hard. But yeah, something like an Emerald Kaizo, there's certain runs that are just literally impossible or have such low odds of winning. Like, I'm, I'm saying most Nuzlocke's, not everyone. Like, Emerald Kaizo is on a, on a level where, like, you can just get screwed by luck and you don't have anything that you can do. Like, you can prep as much as you can. Uh, Sheepajimu, thank you for the 15 months, Docs F, uh, DH. Zero, zero? I just said zero, honestly. What's Emerald Kaizo? Emerald Kaizo is just a ridiculously hard Emerald hack, and people have been, like, doing Nuzlocke's of it. Hardy, thanks for the Prime. You never have the patience to strategize for over one hour for a battle? Yeah. Normally, I wouldn't have the patience either, but Ludwig said I wasn't able to do it, so we're gonna do it on the first try. <clears throat> Like, he came into my chat and said, hey, you can't do this. So, uh, we're doing it on the first try. Which is why I'm willing to strategize for so long. To prove a point. To send a message. I heard Kaizo means asshole. Your translation is a little bit off there. It, it's, uh... The, the actual meaning is rearranged. But recently, um... It has kind of come into a... Uh, over the course of people seeing it and don't... They don't understand that. They just associate it with difficulty, and so now Kaizu is kind of synonymous with difficulty, but like brutal difficulty. Did Wolf finish it? I believe Wolf finished the his Kaizo Emerald Nuzlocke. I think it took him like three tries or something. Right? It was on his third try he beat it. Dr drill run? I guess you have the horn that could be a drill. It was ten. Oh, it was eleventh try. Okay. I thought, I thought, did he almost finish on his third try or something? It took him over 10. Alright. Uh, are we done yet? PC did 151, how perfect. Which battle did we just do? That was 5 of 6? Thank you for keeping track, I appreciate that. Before you beat it at Flood Streaming, you should go to his chat and tell him to go onto your stream? No, that's that's not a good thing to do. That that That's kind of going against streamer etiquette. Streamer etiquette is like, when you are... Unless someone asks, don't bring up the fact that you're a streamer, that you stream. You know, you know, not in someone else's stream. Unless it comes up in conversation and you're genuinely being asked about it, don't bring it up. It's, it's not good etiquette. The ninth run was screwed by luck. I, I was there. I, I watched it. He was screwed by luck. Okay, we need to raise special defense. Which I don't think we've raised yet. So let me just scroll through here. 
special defense. Yeah. Ninth run was like, got destroyed by the ice gym, right? Or ice leader, ice member. Yes. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do six battles with this, and then we're done. Took a minute or two, but it's good stuff. Yeah, the ice person. The ice person screwed him, and then the dragon one, he had no shot. He was crit four times. Bro. Have you ever been recognized in public? So, my answer is, uh... The to be recognized in public, you have to go out in public. And he got flinched as well. Yeah, just brutal luck. Um, but yeah, to get recognized in public, you have to go out in public. Despite that, I have been recognized. Yes. I leave the house maybe once every two weeks to pick up mail. And during the 30 seconds that it takes to walk to my car... Someone pulled over on the side of the road and just small it. I was like, hey, I had no idea you lived here. It's like, yeah, yeah, just, just going to the post office. Like, oh, man, I love your stuff. Keep it up. It's like, thanks. And he drove away. <clears throat> What's the point of having a car so I don't have to walk two hours to go to the post office or whatever? Yeah, he, he seems super nice. He was a really chill guy. How do you get groceries? I pay my roommates to cook because my roommates cook for themselves and they were like, do you just want us to cook double and you just like pay us for it? I was like, yeah, so they, they deal with that, so I, I don't have to, which is nice, because I don't really have the time to anyways. Do you work out at all? No, but I'm going to. I'm going to, and I've been saying this for six months. But now that all of, this, all of the stress in my life is gone, the merch is out, the YouTube videos are back up and coming. I think, I, think I, 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 have, uh, I have some motivation. And I don't want to become, like, jacked or anything. I just want to exercise so I don't die by the time I'm 30, you know? Have you gotten your favorite Pokemon Quagsire yet? What is that? Isn't that the person from Family Guy, the creepy one? Which battle is this, by the way? Do you want to keep in track? Five out of six. Yo, thank you. Ring Fit's genuinely great place to start. No, what I'm probably gonna do is just like... So I've never seen the inside of a gym. That's a lie. I've seen it once. Or twice. I remember, um... I, I went to the gym once with my roommate. My roommate currently. He wasn't my roommate at the time. But, uh... He was like, hey, you wanna start going to the gym? I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we got up at like 5.30, went to the gym. Felt good. I felt really good afterwards. It was really... It was a good feeling. I like the feeling of being sore. It feels satisfying. It's like, yes, I made some progress, you know. It, it feels... I, I, I enjoy that feeling, actually. Um, it, it feels like I, I did something productive. But, um, the second day that I went, I was exercising, and I, I went a little bit too hard, and I felt nauseous. And then after that moment the next time i woke up the next morning i was about to go and then i started feeling nauseous i my body had associated that with nauseousness and so i just couldn't do it and so i just stopped going you gotta eat no I, i'd have a snack before i went and stuff but i think it's been long enough i don't associate it with that anymore i should go i i definitely like because I, I don't know how to do, like, proper form on all, like, exercise equipment and stuff, I might just, like, find, like, a personal trainer in my city and be like, I have no idea what I'm doing, please help. And then they'll just, you know, so I don't injure myself while I'm doing exercises, right? You can help with this, Steven? Can you? Sec, let me open a window. Oh, wait, like, wait. Steven, are you going to school for something related to, like, 
physical exercise? Is that your thing, or am I wrong? Did I, am I misremembering? There, yeah, window's open. <laughs> Any advances on the move to Calgary? Once I take my break off, I'm gonna talk to the bank and see what I can do. Your undergrad was biology, now I'm doing an education degree. That's close enough to fitness. If Ludwig tells you that you can't get buff, would you? <clears throat> so, so in some ways, I know how to teach stuff. Oh, okay. You coming to Calgary? Yeah, I plan to move to Calgary before the end of the year. Sorry, one sec. I just got a, a lovely message. An exciting message. I can't tell you guys what it's about yet. Just a really cool message. What we do the week off? Nothing. I'ma do nothing. Willingly moving to Calgary? Here's the thing. You know, if you're complaining about Calgary, you're complaining about, really, the only thing that it could be is the people there. I'm gonna go outside. You can't hate the people if you don't know anybody. Right? Julio, thanks for the two months. It's 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 one of the largest cities in Canada. The cost of living is significantly lower than all of the other cities of comparable size. It has an international airport. It's kind of central in the country, so it's not going to be too hard to travel places. It works great. I hope you're kidding. That's not very good for you. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not going to interact with people that aren't that I don't, like, know, right? You know, make a few friends and then just hang out with those friends. <clears throat> True, who's gonna cook? Um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a, a guy that, I'm gonna get so rich that I'm gonna hire a personal chef. All right. Uh, speaking of personal chef, remember to use t Twitch Primes. It's free, and if you have it, if you have it and not using it, Amazon's just taking money for you from you. What's wrong with the people from Calgary? I don't really know, but that's what I've heard. Yo, Stacky, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. <laughs> How many deaths? Six. Alright, uh, I think we're ready to, uh, to fight this battle now. Future site? No. Yeah, Calgary is the Kekona of Canada, basically. It's like... Calgary is the most... Alberta, in general, is like the most American place. It's the most American place in Canada. Which is why Canadians don't like it too much. That's what I've heard. Let's get everybody up to 45. Oh, okay, or 46. That works too. Do you know how to make custom emotes? Yes! Speaking of, uh... Uh, you just reminded me, custom emotes, art, art, what have I done, art recently. Art that I've done recently, my most recent YouTube thumbnail, I, I think I'm actually getting okay at this whole art thing. I'm not terrible at it. Because... I was having a really, really hard time... Getting a good screenshot of Bowser, going... You know, that face? Just freaking out. I, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I was having- I was having trouble. But what- what I ended up doing was I found a screenshot of him looking at Mario on his left in the ending cutscene, and Mario was like, half covering him up. I need Ice Punch? I do need Ice Punch still. He was like, half covering him up. And so, I had to draw the left half of Bowser. 
and I like changed his expression and everything. Like all of that was me. Like the left half of Bowser, it's it's a little bit hard to notice in the thumbnail, but the left half, I just drew. <laughs> Iron head. Sure. Uh do I don't think in this fight we need Iron Head. We need to do, do a few little things. We need to burn Milotic. Uh, we need to... Uh, do some other things. Earthquake? Yeah, absolutely. I'll get rid of Wing Attack for that. Look at it again, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's definitely the, the his chin is the most noticeable part. You mean the left half? You mean the left half of his face, right? No. No, not just the left half of his face. His in, entire entire bit. Do we have U-turn? I don't think we have U-turn yet. We do not yet have U-turn. I'm just gonna move items because I'm pretty sure Leftovers is somewhere on one of these Pokemon. You have leftovers, you have leftovers, you have a magnet, that's fine. Can you learn you turn in this game? Probably. Okay. Bag that. What does a magnet do? Uh, boost electric moves. Okay, so we need to do a few things. Um, I need to first fly to Pastoria. It boosts electric moves by 1.2 times. Yes, that is correct. That is what it does. We're gonna go to this guy. Teach Pokemon to move. Uh, you need to learn Ice Punch. Instead of Thunder Punch, I believe. Yes. Yes. That'll do it. Good. So we have Shadow Seek and, and uh, Ice Punch now, which is awesome. Uh, where is our Burn Orb? Flame Orb. We'll give this to Sweppy. So we're going to burn Sweppy before we get into the fight. Uh, this will raise its defense by 50%, and the leftovers should counteract the burn a little bit. 1.2, I thought it was 10%. I'm not sure if they changed it or not. So we're just gonna get into a, a wild Pokemon battle here. Probably the other way. Uh, counter for Torterra. Uh, our counter for Torterra is Dusk Noir. Uh, Dusk Noir has Ice Punch. Uh, 75 Firebird, thanks for the Prime. And Sirius Sam, thank you for the Prime as well. Right, wh where are you gonna fight Cutie? Apparently, we fight Cutie on Route 210. I don't know where that is. Right here, I guess. Apparently right there. Where is right next to some grass? Veilstone is. How do you use leftover when you already have a flame orb? Uh, we're gonna just get into a wild Pokemon battle to burn it and then run away from the battle and heal up to full. You'll see, you'll see. Check this out. Luki, thanks for the tier one. So we'll fight. Uh... We'll just... Confuse Ray. And then we get burned, and then we run. And now... We, uh... Now we give the leftovers. Give? So good. And now its defense is, uh... See its ability? It boosts defense if there's a status problem. Its defense is 93 right now. But because it's burned, its defense is actually higher than its special defense. Because it gets a 50% bo boost, which makes it super good. Mm -mm. Torterra does not know Crunch, correct. It's 149.5 defense, yes. So, um... 
What is Sidon dealing with? I think Sidon is taking out... Let's give Sidon the magnet. Because that'll boost our electric move to guarantee a two-hit KO. Um, so that's for Golduck. This is for... Let's give the black glasses. We're gonna give the black glasses to you to guarantee we KO the Alakazam. Uh, I'm just making sure everything is perfect. Because I do not... This is a fight, like... Fights where it's a gym leader... Gym leader fights are significantly easier, right? Because... You know, they have one type, and generally one or two Pokemon can deal with an entire team. But, like, with this, it makes it much more difficult because of the, uh... You probably have black glasses, right? No? With this, it makes it so much more difficult just because of the, um... You have the black glasses. Take. Uh, you give... Okay. But we're not doing a gym right now. We're about to fight a, a rival. Uh... Okay. First time watching? Uh, this is a, a Nuzlocke with a few special rules, but not, don't worry about it. There's like a classic Nuzlocke with a level cap. Black glasses raise dark type moves. Um, might as well give you Razor Claw. And... Are we ready? How many band subs? Six. So, um, row 210, we fight Sly. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, our team is prepped, but I'm fairly sure we need to fight a, uh, a person first. I'm p fairly sure, let me check the trainer Pokemon orders really quick here. Um,. Because after Pastoria Gym, it says go to Route 210 North. Do we have Defog? Because we need to teach Defog to a Pokemon, if so. You level up more if the level cap is 53? I don't know how many fights we're going to have to get into. That's the thing. Okay. Uh, we'll just get rid of Dragon Claw for now. Nut! You don't need- oh wait, the fog is removed? Oh, I didn't realize the fog was removed. That's actually super nice. Wasted a thing though. Uh, apparently we go to Route 210 North now. Doesn't this lock have lives? One, yes. One. Okay, we're gonna open up with you. I don't know when Cutie challenges me is the problem. So we actually have to have Slice to start no matter what. Save before the fight? Well, if we lose, it's just over. Uh, we still have not encountered a Pokemon in this area. Which is very critical because I'm gonna try and catch a Skarmory. Um, in the next section, in, in the north. Fog, yeah, fog is the worst thing about this, for sure. Yeah, because I want a chance at a Skarmory. Um, give something to Rotom? I might as well give something, yeah. Uh, uh, flame warp. <laughs> We're not gonna outspeed anything, but whatever. I'll just give you the razor fang. It's better than nothing, right? I have missed something. Okay, apparently I missed something. You? 
Oh, there we go. Ludlus, hey, what am I? Chopped liver. Don't forget I'm here too. Where is this Galac Doom? That was rough. Need the water from Cynthia? Yeah. What have you done? Technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package that arrived was a bomb. Just pushed a button. Cheerio. Uh, I'm after that galactic goon. Don't let the galactic guy get away. Okay. What does the galactic guy have, huh? I don't know. You. Coward. Get back here. I believe we didn't fight this lady turn. Frick. <sighs> Two Pokemon Del Caddy, level 37. Okay. Um. Earthquake. Earthquake. Good. Persian. Power gem is terrifying. Alright, let's go back to the Pokemon Center, because I am afraid. A little whiny baby that doesn't want to get hit by anything. Re Repel's effect wore off. We already got a Pokemon here, so we don't need to. Power gem, scary, but thank goodness its special attack is not that high. Did you miss the fight? Were you prepping? We have not got to the fight yet. Apparently, it's at the end of the route. I, I didn't know when it was, so I figured just get it. Burn is gone. Thank you for the reminder. We will fix that burn. Uh, we'll, we'll fix the burn, don't worry. Don't you worry, we'll get it back before the uh, the cutie fight. Mm. You? Eavesdropping. Yo, Stans, hey! You say the cargo was a bomb explosion, great marsh, pursuing a man with a funny bowl cut haircut. Team Galactic, how did I miss it? Okay, what is Stans doing, dude? Turn. Coward. Alright. Why is the player sprite so damn ugly? What are you talking about? You're calling Ludwig ugly? Excuse me? Sir? SMH, dude. Pant, pant. Why am I running like this anyway? The new world universe talking about... Persistent. I'm not going to battle you. Just fight me, dude. My Pokemon will KO you. Toxic Rope. Earthquake. Jesus. It outsped me. Spooky. Hunt Boom! Fwee! Alright, well, that went well. No problem. Can't battle anymore. I have to give this to the commander. There's Cynthia. Okay. Had something else to talk to you about. Galactico, an older sister. Mr. Glizzy, Team Galactico, how are they out of control? See them, teach them a lesson. They won't forget to see you around. All right, good. Cynthia, is he your friend? More impatient. Have you seen the group of Psyduck? No. You should use this medicine on the Psyduck. Secret potion. Good. Went on a big adventure with Pokemon when I was younger. Help you get to meet every Pokemon. And the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. Alright, good. So let's go burn my Lotic again real fast. And get through this. How strong is your circle game? I don't know what that means. And I feel like I'm about to get these nuts. But what is circle game? Oh, Pokemon Ranger! It was okay, I beat Pokemon Ranger. Uh, I'm just gonna run into a Pokemon here really quick, just to burn. Yo, there's an item right there. Item? Steel Wing. Oh. Chansey. We will simply Scald. Yes. Hey, you're burned too! Uh, run! 
What do you want to get burned? Because it boosts its defense by 50%. It makes it insane. It makes it a super freaking good. Merge came in today. That's so pog, dude. Isn't paralysis better for Marvel scale? Absolutely not. I am not leaving this up to luck. There is no chance. I am leaving my... Uh... Leaving my victory on luck. Where the heck is this REPL? There it is. Paralysis? So unpredictable and can screw you. I'm a maths major, you should give it a shot. I ain't risking it. Secret potion? Yes. There the ducks go. Why didn't you do this yourself, Cynthia? If I was... You just... You walked... Uh... <clears throat> Come on, dude. Really? Anyways, uh... Nope. I believe this is the north area of the route. Uh, I'm gonna try and avoid every trainer. Do I need to use- I'm just gonna check. Can't use that here. Okay, okay, good. Hyper potion, excellent. I don't know when we're gonna fight Cutie. I'm spooked, dude. Okay, there's a ninja boy. Do not interact. Well, ah, don't look at me. What the heck is that person? What are they? I don't know, man. A medic? Is that a free heal? Free heal. That's weird, because uh, literally I'm right beside a Pokemon Center. Okay, so this is Ace Trainer Alyssa, most likely, who has an Ambipom, a Starmie, and a Torterra. What type is Ambipom? Is it fighting? No. It's just normal type. This team isn't great for dealing with random trainers as it's super specialized, but this fight should be fine. Let me just double check the trainer Pokemon. Um, Torterra, Starmie, Ambipom. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. I'm Dunzo, you're Dunzo. He, she, me, we are all Dunzo. Spooky. What does everyone have a Torterra? It's a good Pokemon. Umbreon! That is not what I expected. Okay, um, lovely. Earthquake. Bro, don't do that to me. Do we have a fighting type Pokemon at all? Not really. Risk it? Risk it. Moonlight. <gasps> they use Pursuit. How much damage did that do? I don't know. Anyways, we'll just Moonblast it. Frick you. Okay, good. About a quarter? Alright. Torterra. Um. Dusker. It's gonna use Wood Hammer. Razor Leaf? Never mind. I thought it had Wood Hammer. Ice Punch. It has Crunch. Even with a crit, it won't KO though. Starmie. Skull does nothing. Thunderbolt. Psy Beam. It's fine. We're good. With the crit it did, he lowered your defense? Oh, I missed that part. 
Heal me. Thank God. Okay. Uh, let's get the burn back. <laughs> actually, I can't. You know what? Screw it. We're not gonna burn. Uh, actually, I think we let's catch the wild Pokemon. It's time. It's time. Let's catch it. Uh, I'm gonna check the wild Pokemon actually really quick because I'm fairly sure the reason why we waited so long is because there's a high chance of a Skarmory. About 210 North has a 10% chance for a, a Skarmory or a Shellgon. We delayed this encounter specifically for the 10% chance for a Skarmory or a Shellgon. We already have a Swablu, we already have a Fero, uh, so we can get him a Choke, a Drift Blim, a Saviper, a Skarmory, or a Shellgon. They did remove fog in this area. It's quite nice. So it's a slightly higher than 20% chance. Let's see what we get. We've already had a Zangoose. You can see we've caught it, so we can run from this. Skarmory. Sick. Alright, I'm just gonna... Crunch once. That was a crit. Pokeballs. Okay. Okay. Need to be careful not to KO Stake. Um, it has Night Slash. We're gonna switch in Sweppy, I think. Because that's not going to do much. Yeah. Good. And we also have recover on that. Come on. Please? What's better? Confuse Ray Supersonic? 100% Confuse Ray. I don't want to damage it again. Come on. Get in my ball, dude. We still have 47. This will be far. Moonblast is weak to it. It has god awful special defense stats. Just recover. Get that out of the way. Okay. Almost. Please, I beg. It's gonna start struggling before I friggin' catch it, dude. There we go. Skarmory was caught. Okay. Good. Who are we naming this after? Give a nickname. Yes. Who are we naming this after? Fo Frosty, thanks for the year. Bambo, you, Bamboo, you two. Thanks to tier one super Pokemon fan. Uh, uh, Lazy Gulpin. I can't name it after you. I'll name a Gulpin after you or something. Um, let's see. Let's see. The Toxic Turtle. Hansky, Dawa. We're going to name this one Dawa after Dawa131. D A W A Dawa after Dawa one three one Pog. All right, heal me up. Uh, I will now proceed to be burning my to proceed to burn my mylotic. Yes. We will Moonblast. Sorry, kiddo. That didn't burn me. It has to survive? Frick. Confuse Ray. Run. Apparently... Have to waste a turn. News to me. Okay. Good. I don't want to get, like, get sneaked up from behind. Okay, a double battle is the scariest thing in the world for me right now. <clears throat> mm. 
Double team Zack and Jen with a Gyarados, Gliscor, Victory Bell, Typhlosion, Ursaring, and Ampharos. Yeah. If we get in this battle, we're, 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 we just lose. Okay. This is Ace Trainer Ernest, who has a Politoed. I think I'm going to fight you just because we're going to have to run back. Should have a Politoed, Pinsir, Probopass, and Zatu. Never mind. They took one Pokemon away. Thunderbolt. A Pinsir. What's it going to do? What's a Pinsir now at level 41? I don't know. Um... I'm just, I gotta check though. Pokemon changes. Pinsir. Level 41. Close combat, Swords Dance, Knockoff, Thrash, X Scissor, Brick Break. Uh. I think it would KO... Yeah, I think Dusker can handle it the best. x Scissor, Good. Wait, it could knock off, though. Does it have Guts? Wait, what, what's its ability? Mold Breaker or Hyper Cutter? Oh, no! Oh, it's fine. Hurt by the burn. Don't use knockoff again. Uh, dive. Boom. Okay. Nine tails and is now sunny. Okay. No, what are you going to do against an Earthquake, though? Confuse Ray. Wow. Alright. It might know Solar Beam. Oh, fuck. Sly out speeds. If it gets hit with a solar beam, it just dies. Ugh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um. Ah! Thank God, dude. Okay. Okay, you gotta be very careful here. Painful, dude. <clears throat> My team is so weak to grass. It is terrifying. I can't escape. Holy frick, dude. Terrified for a moment there. Okay, um, give you leftovers. Yeah. Do I have any, like, regular potions hanging out? Just, like, a simple potion at all? Screw Alright, now we've died so far, six. <sighs> okay. Okay. Good. Good. <clears throat> So that was Ace Trainer Ernest, Ninja Boy, 
Davido apparently only has a level 41 Nine Tails. if we do fight a ninja boy. Black Belt has a Machamp, a Blaziken, and a Heracross. Okay, there's the ninja boy down there. This guy has a... he opens up with a Machamp. Fly will probably one-hit KO the Machamp. But does Machamp learn Rock Slide? Because Rock Slide can hit a flying Pokemon. It shouldn't know Rock Slide naturally. Thought that was Thunder? Yeah, it knows, um... Probably Payback, Counter, Bulk Up, and Cross Chop. Because it should have a, uh, yeah. Black Belt Adam. Machamp level 42, Blaziken level 42, Heracross level 42. Yeah, Rock Slide hits Pokemon that have fly flown. It might have no guard. Yeah, 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 that's true. Hmm. It could have counter. I think we're gonna open up with Sweppy then, because Sweppy can uh, use the Moon Blast. Because then we can't get countered. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Thunder hits flying Pokemon, yeah. Alright. Buff Physique isn't just for show. Okay, Moonblast. Bulk ups, that's fine. Moonblast again. Her bites burn. Metacham, that's new. But I don't think Metacham can do anything, right? Its stats were increased. There's much higher special attack. Hmm. It's probably gonna high jump kick. Uh, I don't think it has anything for Dusker. I'm gonna Moonblast. That worked. Heracross. <sighs> uh, I believe it has guts. It can know close combat takedown, Mega Horn, knockoff, Mega Horn. Hmm. I'm not sure. Ready Striker, thanks for the 25 and excellent. Thank you as well. Um, we cannot afford to burn it. We can't switch you in. I think you are the best bet, right? Fairy resist bug, yeah. We could probably take it. Let's just. Let's just Moonblast. Cover. Good. Moonblast again. Okay. Good. Okay, we will have to fight her. Um, what is that item on the right there? You could have recovered again. I don't think we needed to, though. Heal my Lodic with an item? Good idea. Okay. Grab it, there's a ninja boy there. There's a, a ninja boy. 
uh, with apparently only a level 41 Ninetales. But something tells me that's wrong because the previous trainer had a level 41 Ninetales. Okay, the next is a Bird Keeper that apparently has a Dodrio. Stalka probably Thunderbolt, a Dodrio, and then a Pidgeot, and then a Skarmory comes out. It's a Smoke Ball in Original Platinum. It probably is a Smoke Ball there as well, then. But yeah, this should be Bird Keeper Brianna. Is an Ace Trainer not a Bird Keeper? Oh, sorry, my mistake. I had, I, wow, that's crazy. Okay, you Dodrio. We're gonna Thunderbolt. It uses Swords Dance. We one hit KO it. Thank God. All right. Skarmory. Thunderbolt again. One hit KO it. All right. This is fine. Didn't level up too much. Isn't over the level cap yet. Seems like there would be an item here. Did Yeti never send you the updated trainer list? He said Ludwig didn't have it, so I'm not using it because Ludwig didn't have it. <clears throat> okay, Veteran Brian has a Tangrowth. But we might be able to make it past Veteran Brian. Look back, yeah. Turn. Brian. Okay. This tank growth has ancient power! No! Okay, we're fine. Azumarill? We out speed? Yes. That could have KO'd if that was a crit with that play rough. Uh, we're in a stack. Bro, chill. Chill! I burr! Oh, come on. Okay, we defeated you. Never played a Rotom. Can you change this form whenever you want? In this hack, you can, yeah. Jeez, okay. Old Gato. Alright, we ready? You get Waterfall from Crash or Wake? I did get Waterfall from Crash or Wake, yes! It's just a one turn dive. I might as well use Waterfall instead. All right, I think it's dawn next. Moment of truth. It's one turn dive with a flinch chance. We've played for- No! She heals you?! No! What the fuck?! My lot is destroyed now!
bro. Okay, you're gonna use wood hammer. We know you're gonna use wood hammer. Or rock slide. Why did that do so much? Ice punch? If that crit, we were so screwed. Does wood hammer KO? A Hyper Potion? It's gonna use Rock Slide. <sighs> okay, she used a potion, so we can use a potion. That is in the rules. Mamoswine will use Earthquake here, I think. What's Dusker's ability? Pressure? Because this Mamoswine has Earthquake, Avalanche, Stone Edge, and Ice Shard. Earthquake, Stone Edge. Okay, that's fine. I forgot you don't have a water move. In my head, he had scald. <sighs> it's just going to use Stone Edge. Get Fire Punch on Dusk Noir. Yeah, of course. Just get Fire Punch. Does that do more than half? Did that do more than half? We got a crit back.
It has Scrappy. I know it was Choice Banded. It has Scrappy. Did I kill someone? No, they got a critical hit strength. I'm sorry, Sly. What? I could have used a potion? Oh my... Two bands. After all that. You know what caused all of that? Cause she healed the fucking burn. We have two more Aerodactyls. Do we get another shiny Magikarp? <laughs> Should we just get a new shiny? <laughs> Cause shiny claws is real. It literally won't let me... Oh, is it... it won't let me release it. Okay. Is Gyarados really necessary? It's insanely good. It goes a bit against the spirit. You're telling me the spirit of my Nuzlocke? Shut it. Um, then why did it die? Because they got a crit on a choice banded law bunny. Its defensive stats were actually insane. Strength is rock type in this? No, it's not. Oh, bye, Smurf. Thanks for the prime. Pretty sure it's normal. Giraffe, thanks for the 12 months, the year. I believe strength is still normal in this. <sighs> Megalopony is scrappy. It has scrappy in this. Strength is 100 power in this mod, yeah. Maybe rock climb is rock. <sighs> okay, um... Is there any place where I can only encounter a Magikarp? Any route? That I'm only able to encounter a Magikarp? So it's just guaranteed if we fish for long enough? I feel like no, right? Use the old rod. Old rod um, gives us Magikarp, Poliwags, Carvanas most of the time. Old rod, Magikarp, and a Goldeen. I'm just gonna scroll through really quick. Old rod, Magikarp, Goldeen. Magikarp, Goldeen. Magikarp, Barboach.
Old Rod to Feebas, 100% there. Um, Old Rod Magikarp Poliwag Dratini. Old Rod Magikarp Corfish. Old Rod Magikarp Shelter Chinchow. Old Rod Magikarp Shelter Chinchow. Old Rod Magikarp Barboach. Old Rod Magikarp Corfish. Magikarp Barboach. Magikarp Golden Corfish. Oh, Old Rod 100%. Lake Verity. Magikarp is 100%. Okay. That's so sick. We prepared for like an hour and a half for that. Damn, dude. Can you get to the water in Verity? I, I think so. Alright, we're gonna very quickly find a shiny- oh, wait. Can you not? No way. How do you get to the water? You can't even do it. Damn it. Celestic Town has a 90% chance for a Magikarp, actually. Yo, Celestic Town, it's our next encounter anyways. Right? Hundred percent chance right here. The odds are increased for um this. Doesn't start a Pokemon game for Comfort of the Lake anyways? No, they do not. Let me just mute the audio, and I'm gonna get some good music going. Uh, Relicanth is a 10% chance. Um, so if we encounter a Relicanth, we'll have to catch that, but then we'll also be able to catch a thing. Like, guaranteed we have a Relicanth encounter, so we'll catch the Relicanth, but we'll also catch the Magikarp. Um... Because guaranteed we'll get a Relicanth here. I wonder if Relicanth has been buffed. Not at all. Although its new ability is, I think, Rockhead. So, Rockhead, I think, is a guaranteed ability, which is cool. Oh, it learns Head Smash. Ooh. Never learns any setup moves. But yeah, we're going to have to catch the Relicanth for sure. But uh, let's just play some... Some of, uh, this. Let's get another one. Cast form was buffed? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's get another friggin' shiny! Um... Magikarp, run. This is only gonna take a minute. But I'm trying to catch a Relicanth here. That's the goal right now. We need to catch a Relicanth. Because we are allowed to catch a Relicanth. It is only a 10% chance, unfortunately. Any minute now. Can you catch a normal Magikarp because it's first encounter? I could. Or I could catch a Relicanth and a Magikarp. Because we've already caught... There we go. There's our Relicanth. Bag. Pokeball. Dive Ball. Boom. I have a feeling that this may be difficult to catch. Is Relicanth considered difficult? To catch? They're hard AF to catch. Lovely. Confuse Ray then. It shouldn't take it out with Confuse Ray unless we're really unlucky. We will be able to catch two Pokemon in this town. There's a Relicanth and then a shiny Magikarp. 
which is just so stupid. Uh, but, you know, it's it's following the rules. If you're patient enough, you can win. That's the whole point about a Nuzlocke. You know, planning ahead and being patient enough to plan ahead. I'm planning ahead by getting another friggin' Gyarados. Uh. We may not even catch this Relicanth. I think it broke out of confusion. Let's confuse it again. You accidentally used a Master Ball and a Beldum? Those are hard to catch anyways. That's fair. Snapped out of confusion. I saw that. How do you get two in this town? Um, uh, one regular Relicanth and one shiny Magikarp. <laughs> if we can catch the Relicanth. We don't have many balls left. It may start struggling before we catch it. Snapped out of confusion. We'll confuse it one more time and hope it doesn't destroy itself. Okay, that's good. 22 balls left. Snapped out of confusion. I'm not confusing it again. Come on. Bro. Come on. Get in my ball. Dive ball, I'm out. I'm out of dive ball. Am I actually using 50 Pokeballs on this Relicant? Bro. Bruh. Bruh. Why, dude? Thank you. Okay, Relicanth was added to the Pokedex. Longevity Pokemon, rare Pokemon, given nickname, yes. Who, which sub are we naming this after? Who is the Pokemon that is named this? We got the fish. Anybody in chat with fish in their username? Any fishes in chat? Any fishies? Any fishies in, in chat? In the chat? I'm a fish. Riley Angry Fish Face. Riley underscore Angry Fish Face. We're gonna name this one Riley. Riley? Have fun in the box for now. Uh, is there a Mart in this town? I don't think there's a Mart in this town. Let's go get some better balls. And while we're here, I should probably stop by this store, get some more little roots. Bye. Energy root. By 20 for the future. Good. By Repels too. We could. Uh Mart, 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 Mart. There's the Mart. Good. What's a shiny clause? You can catch any Pokemon if you if they're a shiny. Are Pokeballs usually 50? No. Well, we have 200 Pokeballs now. They're usually 200, but it lowers the price. Nope. Don't, don't bring me into a battle. Okay. Good. The fun begins. What a bargain. And now we're on the grind for a shiny magic carp. It'll only take a moment. Why not buy Ultra Balls? I don't got the money for that. And, uh, generally... Ultra Balls are 300 instead of 1,200. That's pretty good. Another great... No, 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 no. It's good, it's good. Don't worry. A counter for what? There's a timer on screen. Just use that. It's gonna take less than 20 minutes. I personally guarantee it. It will take less than 20 minutes. We'll be fine. These rules are kind of lame, NGL. Well, do it yourself with your own rules. I don't care. Why complain when you can be quiet? What are the rules? If you encounter a shiny Pokemon, you can catch it. And I am willing to get a shiny Pokemon. I'm bringing a Gyarados all the way to the end, baby. They are one of the most useful things in a Nuzlocke as I've found. The Intimidate with its stats is insanely good. Like the typing, the stats, uh, the typing and the stats, incredible. This typing stats ability, learn set, 
all a very good combo. It can learn Dragon Dance as well. But it's, it's stacked. You shinies keep dying. I am having bad luck with shinies. They, they're dying because I use them so much. It's super common, yeah. Try two, two steps down and three to the left. You think? One, two, one, two, three. Okay, it doesn't happen twice. <laughs> Why don't we just do that for every encounter to make it seem impressive? That cutie heal came out of nowhere. Like, that absolutely ruined us. Because my Lotic's defense is pretty bad if it's not burned. Like, it's not good. And we just didn't have another Pokemon to use. I was about to say, no shot, it happens again like it did with the Shiny Magic Yeah, there was no chance. A too bad Stake is banned. They can tell you where the Shiny Luck is? I know. But yeah, fortunately, the odds are 1 in 512 instead of the normal Shiny rate. It's just like using a, like, Masuda Method Shiny Charm with breeding eggs, but you don't have to breed the eggs. So we should... Oh, well, okay. We should be able to get one. Is this another shiny hunt? No, I'm just trying to find a Pokemon that isn't Magikarp or Relicanth uh, for our encounter. How did Gyarados die? Uh, critical hit, choice banded strength from a Lop Bunny. Yeah, so that, that hurt, I would say, quite a lot. Please don't do this, you're better than this? What do you mean, I'm better than this? Better than having patience? Pfft. Oh yeah, also, strength is stab with the Lop Bunny. Oh yeah, and it's buffed to 100 power in this. So essentially, it was like straight up an explosion hitting me. A critical hit explosion. No wonder Gyarados didn't survive. Are you playing blind? Do you look up movesets? Uh, I have whatever Ludwig had. So I have the wild Pokemon learn sets. Uh, some of the trainers have been modified, so I don't have all of the trainers. Uh, but I have all the main trainer fights. Is it still normal or is it rock type in this game? It must be normal based on how much damage that, that did. Like it's gotta be normal. For the shiny luck, you go in the bottom left corner and fish to the right. It's Relicanth luck. What's the next uh, Magikarp, though? Denthasis, thanks for the Prime. Girth still gives you nightmares. The girth of what? Don't answer that. Do do. <laughs> Not in this one? Okay, interesting. You can see the grit on his face? Maybe a little bit, alright? Frick, I reeled it in too quickly. The top right corner, stand towards the stairs. I don't want to get, like, roped into a fight. Two spins and then fish down. That's two spins. Frick. Alright, I'm, I'm done moving around. We need to optimize this. I don't want to sit here all day fishing up Pokemon. It should, and plus, there's a prediction. We have a prediction to do. There's a grunt you have to fight first? Yeah, exactly. The grunt won't be too bad, but I just want to make sure that we're 
not gonna fail anything. What if you get a shiny Relicanth? It would be really funny. It would be pretty funny. Yeah, I have only 20 minutes to get a shiny, exactly. Would you catch it? Oh, absolutely. Any Pokemon that we can catch, I will try to catch. Could always help us in the future. It's, it's a grunt and Cyrus. A grunt to get in, and then you fight Cyrus right after. Like, the, the Cyrus fight, let me just double check, Mogul Platinum. Uh, it's actually Atrioc, who has a Crobat with wise glasses, a Honchkrow with a scope lens, Magnezone with a life orb, a Weavile with an expert belt. But I mean, four Pokemon, that team should be easy enough to handle. Okay, that's not a shiny. You are screwed, that's all I'm gonna say. Nothing else, nothing more. Screwed how? Z watch SMO in Minecraft and decided to check out Pokemon. Hope it's been a good stream. It has! This is a weird time to come in, Savkuno, because I am fishing for a few minutes straight, just trying to get a shiny, but welcome. Welcome, welcome. The next boss, Atrioc, requires a lot of planning. I mean, Crobat, literally, I think all we need to use is a uh, another Aerodactyl with, like, a fast physical move. Physical Rock type, and we could take out the Crobat. Um, the Haunch Crow. I'm not sure. I, I feel like it won't be too bad. Th th with only four Pokemon, we can prep pretty hard. Uh, Magnezone. Should be pretty simple. Magnezone literally can't do anything against, uh... Uh, my Torterra. How long did this take last time? I believe it took 20 minutes. But yeah, we, we will be prepping for the Atrioc fight. Weavile has Faint Attack, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, and Swords Dance. Jesus. Um... Hmm. We just need a Steel-type, don't we? With Shiny your own team, we're getting a, a, a Shiny Magikarp, the second Shiny Magikarp at the challenge, because our second Gyarados died. And so we're, uh... We're trying to get another Shiny Magikarp, because it's just that helpful. Uh, I think against Weavile, most likely Skarmory can handle it. Probably just smack him with the, uh, the Steel Wing or something. That should do the trick, for sure. I don't think there's anything that it can do to stop me. Swords Dance is terrifying, but, like, Skarmory's defense is absolutely just stupid. Even after a Swords Dance, it's gonna do nothing. Using Infernape, Fake Out, Mock Punch? Yeah, actually, that's a really good idea. I like that. I'm gonna use that strat. We'll have it as a backup, like Skarmory as a backup then. Cyrus's Gyarados is Earthquake. This uh, this Atrioc doesn't have a Gyarados. <clears throat> tell a story. All right, I'll tell a story. I think this is a perfect time to tell a story. Give me some inspiration, though. What kind of story could I tell? G give me give me a direction, and I'll, I'll pick something out of chat. Magnezone is Magnet Pull. Ooh, spooky. An illegal one. That's dumb. Kindergarten. Christmas. A fishing story. Um, let me think. I might have a fishing story. Let me just scan my brain. So I did go fishing a lot when I was younger with my grandparents. Fishing is just fishing, though. You just sit there and, like, fish. 
right? Did Gyarados die again? Yeah. Yo, yeah, there is that one. There is that, the ice fishing story. All right, the ice fishing story is a good one. So, I was very young. Like, we're talking... Like, this is one of my earliest memories kind of young. Like, I might have been three or four years old. I must have been three or four years old. <clears throat> And, uh, it was winter. And my dad decided we're gonna go ice fishing. And what followed was the most... ...unfortunate series of events. We go... We drive about 30 minutes to get to the lake. He unloads the snowmobile so we can go out onto the lake. And we realize that we forgot the fishing rods. So we load up the snowmobile, we drive back home, 30 minutes, we get the fishing rods, and we go back. The thing is, I, the young kid that I am, took off my snowmobile helmet and left it at home. And so, we weren't gonna go on the snowmobile without my helmet. And so we drove all the way back home, picked up the snowmobile helmet, and went back to the lake. Only to realize that when I went in to grab my snowmobile helmet, I brought the fishing rod with me and left the fishing rod. And so we were there without the fishing rod, but I had my snowmobile helmet. This is about three hours in. And my dad was like, screw it. We're just going to go snowmobiling on the lake. <laughs> so we go snowmobiling. And we get like a few kilometers away from the vehicle in deep snow, granted, on the lake. You know, it's a few feet deep. And the belt in the snowmobile breaks, stranding us in the middle of the lake. Luckily, snowmobiles do come with spare belts. But we were stuck in the middle of the lake. And now here's where things start to turn around though. Okay? I am a little kid just wading my way through the snow because it's so deep as he's like trying to fix this stupid snowmobile. So I'm just wandering around on like a flat plane of snow. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, what can I do? I'm gonna dig a sick hole. I'm gonna dig such a good hole in this snow, maybe I can reach the ice. And so I start digging. <clears throat> and I dig, and I find an unopened granola bar. In the middle of the lake, with nothing around, I find a granola bar hidden under the snow. Like a foot down. And I'm like, Dad, look what I found! And he's like, where did you find that? I was like, it's in the snow. Like, okay, put it in the snowmobile, I guess. So I put it in. I put it in the. Uh, put it in the snowmobile, and I'm like, dude, what if there's more? And so I go and I dig around a little bit more, and eventually, I find another granola bar, maybe five or six feet away, under the snow, a foot underneath it. And I'm like, hey, Dad, I found another granola bar. And he's like, what? How are you finding this? I'm digging in the snow. And I give it to him, and he takes another one. And I and I, I look at one granola bar, I look at the other, and I make a line. And I start to follow that line. So I just start walking in a straight line, kicking my feet through. And eventually, I hit something. I pull it out. It's a juice box. A frozen juice box. I, like, I found a juice box. What? And I, I give him the juice box and I keep doing that and over the course of like 30 minutes while he was fixing this I found a bunch of different granola bars, a bag of chips, some juice boxes 
and I find a bunch of stuff. What must have happened was someone snowmobiled in an exact line, and their back of their snowmobile must have been open, and their snacks were falling out as they were going. And I just so happened to find them. <laughs> and so what we end up doing, we end up, we find a, uh, he fixes a snowmobile, and I'm hungry because I've been digging through the snow for like 30 minutes, and we've been traveling back and forth all day. And so he's like, all right, let's just go to a random cabin. So we find an abandoned cabin on the side of the lake, go into it. We end up eating all of our snacks for lunch, and we go home. No snowmobiling, no fishing, but we had a good lunch. So that was my ice fishing story where I never really ended up ice fishing. You can just walk into random cabins on the lake. There's certain, like, cabins that are just like, hey, you know, if you're, like, there's cabins around the area where it's like, if you're snowmobiling, they've been built to have, like, a break if you need. Or, like, if your snowmobile gets broken and you're stranded, like, on the lake or on the mountain, you can just go into it. There's firewood there if you really need to survive. There's, like, a thing that you can light a fire with so you don't just die. <clears throat> Right? It's just so people don't, don't die of, like, cold if they break down. Like, if we didn't have a spare belt, we might have had to stay the night at that cabin, because it's pretty far away from our, uh, from our place. We have them all over Newfoundland? Cool. But yeah, if anyone is just coming in right now, we're trying to find a shiny Magikarp because my Gyarados died and I want another one. And and you're technically allowed to catch shinies whenever they show up, so we're shiny hunting. <laughs> because I got the patience and the story ca storytelling capability to keep you entertained, I hope. Uh, let me think of another story, one that I haven't told before. Something brand new that's entertaining. What's a good one that I have not yet told? Um... Hmm... What are the odds for Shiny Magikarp? 1 in 512, so it's not too bad. Holiday story, camping story... Did you get your encounter on this route yet? Uh, yeah, the Relicant. First time applying for a part-time job? Um, I mean, my first part-time job was uh, a family member has like a... Has like a company that he runs, and he was like, Hey, you want to work for me for the weekend? I need somebody. And I was like, sure. Actually... Speaking of one of my first, one of my first jobs, one of my first jobs was also a weekend job that I got asked to help out with. Um, I remember my first ever job, I'm pretty sure, my first time I ever got paid to work. Yeah, this was even before that, yeah. The first time I ever got paid to work, there was a, a, a family friend came up to me and was like, yo. I need help with this roofing job that we're doing. We're changing out the, the, the roof of this building. Do you think you could help out? And I was like, oh, absolutely. I'd kill it. Be so good. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so good. First, first time ever working, I'm going to be such a good worker. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make everybody proud or whatever. And so I get there day one, there's a, uh, we're on the rooftop, and we have to, we have to take all the shingles off. How old was I? Like, 16, maybe? Maybe 16. But, uh, I'm on the rooftop, and I, we get the tool for, like, peeling off the, the shingles and the, whatever they, they were. And I am working insanely fast. Like, I'm 16 against, like, against. Yeah, basically against. I'm 16, I'm on one side of the roof. And there's like a team of three people on the other side of the roof. And I am working hard. I'm just peeling these tiles off like there's no tomorrow. Working insanely hard as fast as I could, right? 
I'm, I clear off a quarter of the roof. They're finished like an eighth of the roof. Because I'm like, I gotta, I gotta show that I'm, you know, this was worth it. I don't want them to regret hiring me for this weekend. So I get a quarter of the roof done. And at this point, I am dead tired. Like, I am throwing everything I have into this. And I peel one of the tiles up, and I find a granola bar. No, that's a lie. Um, I'm peeling the tiles, and I need to take a break, because I'm like, I need like 30 seconds, a minute, to take a break. And, uh... <laughs> Um, I'm peeling up tiles, and I need a break. Like, I am dead tired. And so, I go climb down, I get some water, I take a minute to relax. I have done double the work of three people. And then the boss comes around, and he's like, What are you doing? You're just standing down here where everyone else is working? And I'm like, You've got to be kidding me. I've done... I've done six times the work of everyone else. Literally six times the work. And he does like, Okay, I'll go back up. And so I go back up. I do another half of the roof after like 30 minutes to, to clear off these shingles. And I go back down. And I, I'm, I'm chugging this water back. I am dead tired. And at the exact moment, he comes around again. He's like, what are you doing every single time I catch you down here? Like, come on. Every single thing, go get back up on that roof, slacking, dude. And I'm like, I am literally like nearly dead at this point. And I go back, I finish off my half. I'm finished my half. Those three people were finished like, what was it? <clears throat> they're, they're finished like half of it. And at that point, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna go down. I'm just gonna rest on this side of the roof. And you know what this man does? At that exact moment that I sit down, finishing that half of the roof. He climbs up the ladder to check on everybody. It's like, you're up here sitting! And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, all these guys are working hard on the other side of the roof and you're sitting down up here. It's like, okay. And that happened for the whole weekend. The entire weekend. Anytime I took 10 seconds to myself, he would happen to walk up, check up on me. And so at the end of the weekend, you weren't saying anything. I'm not going to talk back to, to him. So at the end of the weekend, we end up finishing the roof and he has a terrible impression of me, right? Absolutely terrible impression. I have worked myself half to death, right? <clears throat> and yet, he was like, man, we really did this job faster. Like, I thought this might have taken an extra day, but we finished a day early. It was me. We finished a day early because of me. Um, and at the end of it all, he's, everyone in the, everyone around was like, yeah, Tanner was working himself to death the entire time. Like, he did more work than all of us combined. And he was like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, he did like half of everything. He was like, hmm? Eh, good, good, good job then. It was like, it was me all along. He was like, good job. And just to put into context how hard I worked that weekend, I literally, after that day, on the, the Monday after, I literally couldn't walk. I had to go to the doctor and I had to wear knee braces for a month. It was bad. Like, I worked myself to death, and he was just so certain that I was such a terrible worker and I was not doing my job. No. It was rough, dude. Like, when I say I worked myself half to death, I did. But that was my first job. My, like, first, first job. It wasn't my first consistent job. I never did that again, because I was like, I don't want to wear knee braces. This sucks. <laughs> it was rough, dude. So, yeah, then my, my first actual job that was consistent was I was a septic truck swamper. Which means that, uh, I would take, uh, long, like, 10, 20 foot long tubes that were about this big 
and I'd just, like, feed them into sewage so they could be sucked out with a truck, and then I'd pull them out, covered in sewage, put them on a truck, and we'd move to the next place. It was a lot better when I went from like that to being just above minimum wage to working at a sawmill where you get paid nearly $30 an hour to do nothing. Like once I worked at like, I did like 12 hour shifts with like, uh, like hydrovac trucks and septic, tr septic trucks. I remember switching over to like working at a sawmill where they give like, you work for eight hours, but like after an hour or two, after two hours, you get a 15 minute break. After two hours, you get a 30 minute break. After two hours, you get a 15 minute break. I was used to just working for 12 hours, like taking a breather every so often. And those days went by so fast. I was like, wait, we have another break again? Another break again? Oh, another break? This is great. Like working at the sawmill, it felt like I was doing nothing and getting paid like $30 an hour. Yeah, like, I, once I started working at the sawmill, I was cleaning up just sawdust, found a granola bar underneath it. Um, it was great. Why are we fishing? We're trying to get a magic cart, but a good magic cart. Any cooking stories? Let me think. So, growing up, I, I think I've told a few stories that really showed that I was, like, is the word insatiable? I could keep eating and just not stop eating. Like, when people say, like, like I was an endless void that could keep eating. Like, it was, it was insane. So, you know, whenever I got home from school, I was hungry. Starving. You know, I had breakfast, I had lunch, but 3 p.m. rolls around, starving. What do I do? I'm like, every day after school... I'd make poutine. I'd go home. I'd get like four nice big potatoes. I'd uh, I'd peel them. I'd cut them into fries. I'd uh, fry them up. Use there's like the the, the active fry thing where you just chuck them all in. You put like a tablespoon of oil in it. Do that. I'd uh, I'd have some. What I did was I just had a bunch of cheese in the freezer and I just like pour it out and then pour gravy over it. It melt it all up because I'd make some gravy as well. And I'd have that. It'd just be like a massive bowl of poutine. And I'm not exaggerating when I say like a big bowl of poutine. And I'd have that like every day after school. And then I'd have supper. It was, uh, it was good. I mean, I, and I ate that every single day for like two years. We, I went through like, what, what are average? What is the average weight of a sack of potatoes? 10 pounds? Okay. Yeah, I'd probably go through 10 pounds of potatoes a week. Just eating that many. It was super good. What, what can I say? I like poutine. It's, it's a good food. It's simple. It's easy to make. It tastes good. The carbs? Hey, it was good. I liked it. It's literally just cheese, potatoes, and gravy. What's not to love? <laughs> you had to like it if you did it for two years, yeah. Actually, speaking of liking it, I remember my favorite cereal for a while was a honeycomb cereal. It was great. I could eat it every single day. Honeycomb cereal. I don't know why. I just really enjoyed it. And, uh... My, uh... My grandma caught wind of it. And I'm not sure if it was as a joke, but also thoughtful. It was a thoughtful joke. I remember there was one, one year where uh, I had, like... Maybe it was like 10 packages from grandma or something. It, it was a lot of packages from my grandma, right? And uh, what had happened was, and they were all different different shapes and sizes. 
So I open up one package. It's just like this. It's like three boxes of honeycomb cereal. I was like, great. This will last me like, like a, a few weeks. This is fantastic. And then I open up another box and it's just honeycomb cereal, but in a different orientation of packages. It's all packaged in a different way. And I just keep opening up these packages from my grandma. And I got like, it just kept coming. There was just honeycomb after honeycomb after honeycomb. Like boxes and boxes and boxes of cereal. And what had happened was my grandma bought an entire pallet of a honeycomb cereal. Like, like a wooden pallet that they come shipped into the grocery store in bulk. The whole pallet. It literally filled up almost an entire closet of just honeycomb cereal. I ate that for like a year and a half before I ran out of honeycomb cereal. At Once it got like halfway through it, three quarters through it, I was like, this is too much. But like, my gr grandma gave it to me. I can't just throw it away. And so I just accepted that I'm eating a honeycomb for the next like year. It was so much. And you know, I still eat them to this day, but I definitely don't get them as much. <clears throat> and one of the honeycomb boxes, crazy enough, granola bar at the bottom. Uh, you also bought- oh, that was you and grandma. Oh, it was my aunt and my grandma that bought it for me. <laughs> Tell a wild animal story. Let me think. I'm thinking. What's your zero rotation now? Um, I don't know, whatever. I just eat whatever at random. I'm, very, I'm not very picky at all. Generally, if they sell the cereal, it tastes good enough. Except, except the only cereal that I despise and well, I will n refuse to eat ever again. Cinnamon Cheerios? It sucks. It's just the cinnamon challenge, but every spoonful. It's not good. What are you, fish what are you fishing for here exactly? Fish. Cinnamon Shiro's hits different? Yeah. It hits my lungs different when I inhale them and die. With the residual cinnamon coating my mouth. It's gonna hit me to death. You're not strong enough for the best Cheerios? No, I just don't want to die. Whatever happened to the second Gyarados? Um, a lot bunny with I think lot bunnies, lot bunny. Let me just double check. Pokemon changes. A lot bunny, which has been its attack stat was increased from seventy six to one hundred and six. A one hundred and six base attack stat lot bunny. With a choice band used strength, which has a hundred base power in this. So it's stab. So it had 150 power. It had a choice band, so it was actually 225 power. It used that on Gyarados and got a critical hit. So it was a 450 power move. That's what happened. It, it, we didn't have a chance. It has Scrappy, so I couldn't switch into a friggin' ghost type either. Can you take a Magikarp in the next route? But that would be my encounter for the next route. I've already got my encounter in this in this uh, town, and I'm able to get uh, get one here. Are the buffs from the Ludlock or Renegade? Most of the buffs are from uh, I think all of the buffs are from Renegade Platinum. The most of the Ludlock stuff is just uh, story related. Like it, it changes the characters to have Ludwig names and some dialogue. What 
What level are you looking for? Level 10, maybe. Move two spots down for a shiny. I wish I could. Okay, that's about... That's two spots down. Love the new video. I'm glad you liked it. If it had klutz, yeah, if it had klutz, we'd be fine. I could just switch in and... It, that, that fight would have been super easy if it just had klutz instead. I don't think any Pokemon have klutz in this hack, though, because that's just terrible. <laughs> Why is klutz an ability? It's so trash. Tell us the first shiny story. I could tell the first shiny story. I've told it before. But for those of you that know how shinies work in the Gen 3 Pokemon games, you're going to be very impressed. I remember one day in a high school, and this was in a high school, I'd been playing Pokemon for like 16, uh, probably 15 or 14 years. I had been playing Pokemon for 14 years, and I had never encountered a shiny Pokemon. So one day, I decided I am going to get a shiny Pokemon, and my first shiny Pokemon is going to be a shiny Rayquaza. <clears throat> In Pokemon Emerald. And so I save in front of the sh in front of Rayquaza, and I fight him over and over. And yeah, those of you that know how Pokemon Emerald works, you're saying, "Oh God, oh no, oh no." I'll explain why in a second. So I reset in front of this Garrod or in front of this Rayquaza for eight hours straight. And I do not get a shiny. I did not notice that know this at the time, but the way soft resetting works in Pokemon Emerald is that when you reset the game, the RNG doesn't change. And so every time you start up the game, the RNG is exactly the same. Exactly the same. I didn't know this. Ahem. <clears throat> So, I was resetting, and I ended up, uh, I gave up that day, and the next day I started it up again. And after four hours, I actually managed to get one. I got a shiny Rayquaza. It took me 12 hours of resetting, but I got one. And I was like, finally, I got one, tried to catch it with some Pokeballs, didn't work. Ended up catching it with a Master Ball. But what had happened was I happened to save in front of the Rayquaza where within like five seconds, there was one of those frames happened to have a shiny Rayquaza. One of those frames just happened to have one. And I managed to hit that exact frame. I must have waited slightly longer than all of the other ones. And I just happened to hit it. Because usually you just press A right away and you, you, you don't get a shiny. So I was way luckier, way, way luckier than even a regular shiny. Like that made up for all of my shiny luck over the friggin' 16 years I've been playing Pokemon. Uh... So yeah, it was, uh, was wild for sure. What was your first game? Uh, I'm not sure which exactly was the first game. My two earliest memories was watching my babysitter play Super Mario Bros. 3 and getting the flutes. Uh, it could have been either that or I went on a road trip to Alaska and my dad had bought Pokemon Red for me. I couldn't read yet. Went into like a Walmart and came out with Pokemon Red. I couldn't read but I played it anyways. 
Did another Gyarados die? No, it just it just went across the rainbow bridge. It's in the clouds now. It's not dead. So it was predetermined the minute you say it in front of it? Yes. It was guaranteed if I hit that specific frame to get a shiny, but it took me 12 hours to hit that specific frame. Because it was slightly longer. Like, I had to wait slightly longer for that specific frame to hit it. But like, I remember growing up, my friend got a shiny... Graveler, he wound up with a shiny Electrode, actually. He ended up with a bunch of shiny Pokemon. Like, I was like, how are you getting all these? He's like, I'm just playing the game and finding them. Like, what? Twitch Cabby, thanks for the year. Appreciate it. This tiny pond is crammed with Magikarp. It is. Alright, fortunately we haven't been doing this for too long, so I think in the next 20 minutes there we will likely get the uh, the shiny. It's just the same magic art. It's like, hey, do you want me? Do you want me? If someone breaks your pencil sharpening record, will you attempt to retake the throne? Yes. I didn't tweet that for no reason. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I said the first person to beat my pencil sharpening world record of 10 pencils sharpened down to nubs and has it verified onto the leaderboard, I'll give you $1,000. If you beat my pencil sharpening record and it gets verified as legitimate, I'll give you $1,000. I want someone to beat it because I have, I have like, I, I, I'm confident I can beat my record. I am very confident I could beat my own record. I just want someone to beat me first. It's tuition money? Not if it costs a thousand dollars in pencils to practice. Fish one tile down for better shiny luck. Alright. Damn. What's the record? Was the record that insane? No, my record isn't that insane. It's easily beatable. I, I, like, I know I could beat it. I know it's beatable. I just want to have some competition. I'm not making that bounty to flex on anyone. I'm making that bounty for competition reasons. Because not enough people are pencil sharpening these days. Nosh, thanks for the five. Like, here, I'll, I'll, let's, let's watch the record together. Let's go and watch it. It's right here. PSS. 10 pencils drillless in real life. 2 minutes 21 seconds. Eh. Eh, what's, why can I, can I hide bookmark bar? Hide the bookmark bar. Bro, what is going on? Why did it... Did that close the tab by accident? Oh, no. It's here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just go full screen. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, okay. That, that That's good enough, right? You can see that? Whatever. Alright. Ten pencils. You can see them. Maybe camera a bit bigger, I will. We're just gonna measure... There we go. So I measure and verify the pencils are the right length. We'll see. I get a sharpener. Just making sure I got this all good. I do a little warm-up pencil. Sharpen away. I get ready. And ten pencils. Volume up. Make sure I, I got the rhythm and stuff. Okay. See if you can get it again. Here, 2.40. <clears throat> Take my glasses off as well. I won't be able to see chat very well for the next two minutes. ASMR time. How do you start sharpening? Watch my most, on screen. I my have most thin popular boy. YouTube video. Thin boy. It's my story. Okay. So yeah, I start the timer. 
I think something I'm going to have to do once I start going, like, once I try to beat my record, I'm gonna have to buy a Rubik's Cube timer. Where it's the hands on, hands off thing. Maybe. Eight, seven, Mr. Lock, thanks for the four. Or maybe six, not. No. Five, It'll be faster four, not to. Three, two, one, and go. So, yeah. I get through the first pencil. A little bit out of practice, but that's okay. Eight seconds, nine seconds. One pencil down, 11 seconds. Just keep going. Focus on the technique, it'll go down. If you work your forearms out, maybe it'll be faster. I mean, I, I'd rock climb. Pencil, My forearms fine. aren't bad. I slow down a little bit here. Done. That's backwards. Okay. Good one, brain. Eliana, thanks for the nine months. Don't stop. What grade Another do you climb? Down, the three. highest I think I did was like a V7 when I drop climbed. I only did bouldering. And keep focusing. The squeaking from the pencils? Four. Yeah, that sucks. Come on. The video is how you found me? We're on pace. Does it sound worse in person? Nah, it's better. That's five. Focus. We got it. How much money you spend on pencils? Probably like thirty dollars total. Slow one, seven. Your ears? It is I'm not like... a super pleasant sound, but that's what happens when you when you grind hard. Seven. Yeah, if you can beat that's this record, eight. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Sharpener broke. And then my sharpener broke mid-run. Easily beatable. Gonna work. Uh, we were on pace two. Um, then my next sharpener broke as well. Two sharpeners broke during that. I could have got sub two, two minutes. Pencils left. Come on. Focus. How do you give us thousand dollars? It has to be through PayPal. One left. I think we got it. Why hasn't anyone else beaten this? It's harder than it looks. It is a lot harder than it looks. No Venmo? I'm in Canada. There's no Venmo Come in Canada. On. 221. All right. I got it. We can get sub two for sure. But I want someone to beat I me to first. I verify that all these are the right length, though. Yeah, then I verified. I showed it on camera that they're all the right length. Like, here, I'll read the rules for anyone that's curious and actually wants to try. Um, view rules. Alright, the objective of the run is to sharpen 10 new pencils. The pencils must be unsharpened, unmodified. 19 centimeter, 7.5 7 inch. Number two pencils made of only wood and graphite. Only one conventional single blade sharpener can be used at a time. It must be a regular, manual, non-mechanical, non-crank sharpener. No swords or knives allowed, for example. Pencils must be sharpened to a length of less than 5 centimeters, 2 inches, from the end of the eraser to the tip of the graphite. Erasers cannot be removed, and if they fall off, they must be measured side by side with a pencil of the same type with an eraser for an accurate measurement. Neither the pencils nor the sharpeners can be mounted or attached to anything that is not a part of your body. And visual aids to help determine when to stop sharpening are allowed as long as they do not interact with the sharpening itself, like a pen marking or a single small indent. All runs must have video proof, and you must start and stop your own timer. For how long did you practice? I think that was like my seventh run. Anyways. Oh my god, that's so loud. Those are the rules if anyone wants to beat me. Thousand bucks. I just want competition. It's easily be- like, uh, literally. Two sharpeners broke during my run.
Can you use one of the sharpeners with two holes? As long as you only use one of the holes at a time. Because, yeah, I, I had a sharpener with two holes, but I was only using one hole at a time. You can use multiple sharpeners, but only one at a time. Are you allowed to have an assistant to hand you the pencils? I, I think one of the runs does have that happen, where the, an assistant hands the pencils over. Motorized sharpener? I guess you were ignoring the rules when I read them out. You can't have five sharpeners between your knees? Exactly. Can I cheat without making it obvious? If there's any question that your run might be, like, not real, then no, you can't cheat. Can you use the clock on your phone, or does it have to be on video? Um... You can use the clock on your phone. But, you know, make sure it's visible on the video, if that makes sense. Like that you're, you are starting and stopping the phone. Like, just make sure everything is, is clearly visible. Puff's done. Nice to 16 months. Are you allowed to sharpen the blade on your sharpener? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can make the blade sharper on your sharpener. Like, if you have a dull blade, you can you can sharpen it, that's fine. How are you playing the Mogul Platinum ROM? I messaged Ludwig and asked for it. Because, uh, he, he challenged me to it, and he was willing to give it to me because he did challenge me to beat it. Are there different types? Like, types of La Motorized Sharpeners? No, there's only, uh, no, no... None like that, no. I, I've been seeing on Twitter recently, though, someone beat the one pencil world record. I think it needs to be verified. But uh, I think someone beat the one pencil world record, so they probably have the potential to beat the uh, the ten pencil record. Is the shiny necessary? It will make the rest of the game significantly easier. What app do you use? I just use Live Split. Yeah, one pencil does have a significantly less margin for error. The one pencil record is four seconds. I'm pretty sure someone got two or three seconds. Whoops. Yeah, they, they got a, a good sharpener. They used the Rubik's Cube timer to verify 100% that it is legit. How? Uh, we will watch it when it's verified. I'm pretty sure they use the exact same strategy as me. They just had a really good sharpener. Will we find a shiny, re shiny relicanth? We won't. I'm lucky. Come on. Better than that. Pay to win sharpener? Every sport is pay to win if you go to a high enough level. You can say that about anything. Um, that marathon uh, Olympic sprinter, uh, it's pay to win because he has the best shoes. Chess? <laughs> Chess isn't a sport. It's a game. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> B 
but like, yeah, at, at like a high enough level, I imagine, you know, you probably... Uh, it would probably help to pay for people to, like, go against you to, like, train you, I imagine, right? Coaches aren't free. And I mean, here's the thing. Everyone knows that the better your pieces are, the uh, the stronger they are. Like if you get the uh, the premium uh, the premium chest pieces, pawns can take two hits before they go down. Do you think it's a little cheesy to farm for a shiny magic cart? That's just like saying, do you think it's cheesy to follow the speed limit? I don't know. I'm following the rules. Is that cheesy? Following the rules is cheesy? Alright. Have fun in prison eventually. Hope it's not me you kill. Another story? Alright, let's think of another story. What other story could we say? Hmm. The tile next to the house is better shiny odds? 100% real. Okay. Not on the first attempt, obviously. Not on the second either. But on the third attempt. A sports story? Oh, wait a minute. It does have better odds. That's cool. <laughs> Yo, shiny Magikarp? <laughs> Alright, Pokeball. Bag. Alright. Who, who said it? Who said it? Who said this is better odds? That only took 20 minutes, too. That was super nice. Shiny Magic Harper's caught. Give a nickname to it. Yes. All right. Who said it? Can we confirm who said it? Already? Yeah. No. Who? Who? Who said it? Please. If you actually said it, please say, "I said to move there." I could check the VOD. Mm. I'm looking. They might not have been subbed. Yeah, wait, could you uh, take it off of sub only? Because they, they might not have been subbed. I'll gift them a sub. Capable human bean. Are you subbed? Can we take it off of sub only? They... No, capable human being has one message in chat. That's not them. Fantry said it? Tile next to the house for more shiny odds. 100% real. Would you look at that. Alright, gift a sub. Fantry! You called it. Here you go. Enjoy your sub. It's named after you. <clears throat> Fantry! Let's go check the stats. Let's hope it doesn't have a low def like, let's hope it has a, uh, adamant or something. So, yeah, we have a, uh, where's our magic card? 
What? That's okay. Alright, let's check his stats now. Let's do calcs. Um. Uh, Gosser, thank you. Appreciate it, by the way. Alright, I'm gonna check Pokemon Damage Calculator, Diamond Pro Platinum, Magikarp, level 10. Magikarp, blank set, okay, it is level 10. With a nature that, uh, gentle nature. It's okay. Um, all right, so. It has a decent attack, most likely. Uh, it's defense. Is not great. Its defense is probably 10. Special attack doesn't matter. And special defense is... Uh... Pretty high. Speed... Uh, bad. Okay. Let's level it up a little bit more just to check stats. Do, 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 do. But I think this is pretty good for a Gyarados. Special tank Gyarados. I think it's a, a two tank. Two different tanks. Let's level this up to level 25 real fast. Just to get a better idea on stats. And then we'll EV train it in a sec. Alright, Fantry. Here we go. Learn Bounce. Compare it to Stake. I can't remember Stake stats. Don't let him die into a 450 power attack. I'm trying not to. It's evolving. Red Gyarados. Wants to learn Bite. Yeah. Splash. What song is this? This is Battle Revolution, I think. Dragon Rage, sure. Tackle. Oh, Stake is in the box. That's true. Yeah. Stake is like EV train and everything, though. Alright. Let's let's see what this is. So Gyarados, Gyarados, offensive dragon dance. No, I want blank set. Blank set Gyarados, which is level twenty-five. It is gentle. All right. So its HP is eighty-four, which means it has six in HP. It is 70 to attack. Which means it has uh, 18 in attack. Its defense is 43. Which means it has 14 in defense. Special, uh, special attack doesn't matter. Uh, special attack is, or special defense is 66. Which means it has... Uh, 66. Uh, which means it has 20 special defense. And its speed is... Six. Alright. Bad EVs, but... It has 20 special defense, 14 defense, and 18 attack. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. So, let's go EV train it really quick. And I think what we'll do is... Probably an even split between... It's gonna be like a mixed wall. 
All right, let's check its ability just to make sure that it is uh, has intimidate, right? It does. Okay, good. We're going to max its HP out real quick and then level it up. Let's do it. Yeah, the important stats are decent except for the HP. The HP being really low sucks, but that's okay. Uh, increase HP gain on Fantry. Special wall with high attack, something like that. Yeah, we're crafting team for a fight. I'm just getting Gyarados back because it's really nice to have. Uh, we'll do six battles of this to max out its... Uh, to max out its stuff. Dragon Rage. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Oh, it's not a 1-hit KO. Okay. Does Flail do it? No? Okay. Bro. Mm, bounce, I guess. But Bounce is going to miss. This is like the worst set of moves. How long did the hunt take? I think it took about 20 minutes. We'll just do this battle six times. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and we'll, we'll be out of here. Uh, HP high. Good. But yeah, I mean, awesome. That was, uh, that didn't take very long. I'll think, I mean, it was a shiny Pokemon, so... We did get lucky, which is nice. Let me just open up the stats thing again. Uh, this one. Come back. Oh, God. Oh, no. There you go. Let's bring our sound back. Sound settings. Ice Fang, forget a move, sure. Oh god. Flail. Do you have a beard? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Oh no, the screen. I think it looks fine, right? It's all good. Opinion on Wonder Guard? It's a great ability. How do you check IVs? You just use online calculators. Just check like IV checker or something. Shouldn't all naturally found Chinese have the same IVs? That's only in Gen 2. Maybe start training Garchomp up as well? Yeah. For sure. Psypoke has the tools. What badge are we on now? Um, we have done one major battle today and two Pokemon died. So we've kind of been... We've been... Our Gyarados died and something else died. Depending on weakness policy. It's a cool thing. Alright. Boom. Bye bite. But yeah, we've had eight deaths so far, sadly. Aerodactyl died, but... Fortunately, we can just get another Aerodactyl. Um, Gyarados and Aerodactyl, but we can get another Aerodactyl because we have the fossil for it. And uh, we got another Gyarados back. Is Shiny Hunting fair? It's following the rules. Like, I think we have uh, three of each fossil. Any dupes rules? Yeah, the rule is that if you, ca if you see a Pokemon you've already seen, you don't have to catch it. Shiny Hunt Aerodactyl. We don't need to. We have a, It's a static encounter. Which battle was that? Was that battle four? That was battle five? I'm not keeping track. I'm on five now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Do you treat the fossils as separate encounters? Technically, they are separate encounters, yes. HP. I think we guaranteed at least move one more. Alright, I think we're going to... Uh... I feel like we have a lot of physical walls, but not a lot of special walls, so I may give this one special wall status. Samus, thanks for the two. I think that might be good a good idea to train special. Maybe I'll give it like a little defense.
My Lottic and Special Defense? Oh, yeah, that's true. I think I'm going to do an even split then. We'll do three battles with the, the Physical Defense and three battles with Special Defense. I think that sounds good, yeah? Just even split, mixed wall. That's what we're gonna do. Gyarados is Intimidate, yes, but it also has a minus defense ability. Did you get the Golden Fish? I did. Alright. Tail. Good. Uh, we're gonna train three defense battles. Because Gyarados needs to survive just most hits, right? What does Magikarp taste like? Fish. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna mix uh, physical and special defense wall for this. You gave it the speed belt, I think. Let's hope not. No, I didn't. Do you pick up a Manaphy Egg? I do have a Manaphy Egg, yes. We're going to the sixth badge, but we have some... We had some important battles we had to deal with first. Chicken? Yeah, it tastes like chicken, probably. Is the sixth badge a hard one? I've been told it's easy, but the it's the stuff in between the badges that's difficult. Okay, we'll do one more battle for defense. One more defense battle, and then we'll do uh, special defense, three battles of those, and then we're done EV training, and we can actually make some progress again. Took long enough, right? <clears throat> steak was the second shiny death of the run, but it was the third shiny death? No, Steak was the second. We lost shiny Slowpoke? Slowbro? Slowking? I don't know. Okay, there's special defense now. Alright. We're trained special defense, and we just need to do three of these battles, and we are finally free. Uh, by one. Is it normal platinum? No, it is not. I wish it was. Yeah, shiny. It's so sad that we lost the slow king. Like. I could have. I really wish we could have kept it because. But I mean, we got arena trapped by the. Um, we got arena trapped by the trap inch. There's nothing I could do. How long did it take to get the shiny Gyarados? I think it was about uh, 20 minutes. Alright, one more battle, and then we're finally free. Took long enough. There's been eight deaths, five gym badges. The only reason why we lost two Pokemon in the last one is because Cutie healed us before the fight. And I, I, I needed to have be burned on one of my Pokemon. It's the only reason why we lost. Alright, let's, uh, we're gonna level it up to, uh, the level it's supposed to be at now. Yes, crunch instead of bite. Alright. Should put a death counter up? No, it doesn't matter. Death. The ice Fang. Alright. What's the next Super Mario Odyssey event? There was one like yesterday, dude. Is that not enough? Let's get up to level uh, 45, 46. What level was Fantry, or what level was the other Pokemon when it died? Let's compare stats. Let's see. You level 46? Because you died. Let's level it up one more time. Yeah, I don't want to do that, Trissy. 
I don't know. I don't know how to do it, and I don't want to mess anything up. All right, let, let's compare the stats. Move Pokemon. Ooh. All right. I'm going to take the item. So this is the dead one. This is the alive one. Attack is 162. Bro. Okay, it's taking 162 attack. This one is 129. This one had 91 defense. This one is 88. This one had 112 special defense. This one is 132. This one is uh, quite a bit worse, I'm gonna say. It's, it's almost worse in every way. This one has better HP and special defense. The defense being the same is nice, at least. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that has investment though. That ha that does have attack. I'm pretty sure we raised up special defense, uh, attack, and HP. We must have. I'm pretty sure we only gave it like a hundred in each. <sighs> All right though. Um, we got it back. We're good. How do you get two shinies? Magic. And hunting hard for it. All right, next trainer. All right, Celestic Town, we have to fight a Houndoom, a Golbat, and a Beedrill. Uh, the Houndoom... Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think Sweppy can handle a Houndoom. That'll be fine. Uh, the Golbat... Probably Nixus... Can just... Zen headbutt it. And then the Beedrill... Uh, snail can fly. Yeah. Beedrill was buffed? Oh, was Beedrill buffed? <gasps> its speed is now 95. It is 115 attack. Level 43 learns Outrage. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's base stat total is buffed to 450. That's wild. Alright, um, let's give an item to Fantry at least. Actually, one thing we gotta do. Just give it a sec. Uh, we gotta teach him Earthquake. Because Earthquake is just such a good move. Yeah, there we go. Um, Dragon Rage. Yeah, what type is it? I think its type is normal or poison bug still. So yeah, this person will have a Houndoom, a Golbat, and a Beedrill. Do we have a backup for the Golbat? Uh, that's probably a good backup for the Golbat. Uh, let's get everyone up to level 47 then. Can Swappy the Flame Orb? Nah. Is level cap 47? Level cap is like 53, but I don't know how many fights... I don't know how many fights we're going to do before that, so I can't really... I don't want to get any of my Pokemon over-leveled is a problem. So I have to stay, like, right at them. You learn Nasty Plot? Oh, I can't, I can't do it, though, because you're, like, a physical attacker. Okay, Galactic Grunt, Houndoom. Houndoom, and then it's most likely going to send in a Beedrill. Um... Who do I have for the Beedrill again? Yeah, Snail. It's gonna use a Poison-type Pokemon against Snail. Or Poison-type move, probably Cross Poison. Yeah, alright, we're good. Why can't you over-level? Because it's against the rules. It, yeah, I guess I could get rid of its EVs, but that's fine, whatever. Let's just destroy this little kid. 
Are you gonna mess with me? Yes, I'm going to mess with you. Yeah, okay. Where's Infernape? Don't worry. Don't worry. Cuts my attack. That's chill. We can Moonblast. I think it's super effective, yeah? Yeah. Embargo. I can't use items. Fire resists. I actually didn't know that. Alright. Golbat. Um... We know you're gonna use, like, a Poison-type move. Zen Headbutt, never mind. Uh, the worst you can do is Crunch. Air Slash, okay, it doesn't have anything. I missed, it missed. Good. Beedrill now. And Snail Hand is the Beedrill. Drill Run doesn't affect me, that's right, coward. Agility. Done. Alright, good stuff. Okay. Now we need to prep for Cyrus. AKA Atrioc. Alright. So, let's see. We have Galactic Boss Cyrus, who has a Crobat which knows Sludge Bomb, Air Slash, Giga Drain, and Hypnosis. Uh, fortunately, it cannot do anything to Nixus, other than put it to sleep. So, we're gonna use Nixus against the Crobat. Um, do we have any berries that can wake up a Pokemon? We do not! No! This is still a one. Alright. That's lame. Okay. So then after that, uh, chances are the Haunch Pro will come out, because it is super effective. It has Brave Bird, Night Slash, Swagger, and Torment. Um, do we have a Pokemon that resists both Brave Bird? Uh, oh, we can release you now. Good. Okay. Uh, against the Haunch Crow with a Night Slash and Brave Bird, do we have anyone that resists both of those? Lantern? No, Lantern does not resist Night Slash. I will be using you. When's the stream over? When I feel like it. Uh, Lan or Skarmory doesn't resist. Because, uh, Steel doesn't resist, um, Dark. What resists Dark? It's that Night Slash crit that I'm afraid of. Dark, Fighting, and Fairy. What we could do is use a Shell Armor Pokemon. Like this. I think this is probably our best bet, right? Why do you name him Angry? That's someone in chat. Like, we could just use Aurora Beam on the Haunch Crow. Or Ancient Power. Yeah, we need to use Ancient Power. The Type Chart is updated, yeah. Ebly. I think we're gonna use Angry against the Haunch Crow. It knows Swagger, Night Slash, Braver, and Torment. So I think Angry is a good Pokemon. I would like a backup though, just in case. <clears throat> uh, we are bringing Munch for the Magnezone, because Magnezone knows Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Thunder Wave, and Mirror Coat. It cannot touch my Pokemon. Um, so a backup for the Haunch Crow. That could work. Metagross? Yeah, Metagross is easily handling Crobat. No issues whatsoever. Mm -mm 
Milotic with an Ice Move suffice. The Brave Bird is going to deal so much damage, and it has Super Luck, so it, so, so it has a high chance to crit. You have Shell Armor? Swift Swim. Should it replace Shadow Ball or Dark Balls? I agree, it should. Not with Marvel Scale? Yeah. Uh... But yeah, it has Super Luck, a Scope Lens, and Night Slash. So it's going to crit. You just have to assume it crits. Um... Do we have other Pokemon that can't get crit? What is Dawa's stuff, by the way? Sturdy. This defense is wild, dude. Marble Scale counts as a... Oh, yeah, I guess it might ignore Marble Scale. Don't kill me, Dawa. I'll, I'll try not to. Suction Cups. Soundproof. I feel like we have another one that can't get crit. Can Lapras get crit? You have Shell Armor, right? I think Lapras is a good backup. It doesn't resist any moves. Ah, oh, but its defense isn't very high. No, it's not. Torterra is shell armor, but I'm not using Torterra. It is Brave Bird. Landvert, thanks for the 11 months. Appreciate it. This, ro this doesn't buff sturdy, no. We have any Pokemon that can resist those moves. Dark and flying. Not that, no. Um. <laughs> Does Raptor resist Dark and Fighting? No, it doesn't. It's dark and Flying. Tyranitar does. We don't have any Larvitars, though. <clears throat> we're using Kerbo. I think we're gonna use Kerbo for this. Let's check Kerbo's stats, if it's good or not. Quirky neutral. Uh, Pokemon IV calculator. All right, select so Pokemon uh, Kabuto. CP. What the hell does CP mean? Oh, you've it's Pokemon Go. Get out of here. Normies. Kabuto, level 20. Uh, its stats it has 42, 37, 46, 31, 23, 33. Ooh. We're getting a we're getting a better one. It has zero to four attack. Although its defense is 25 to 29. Do we have a Pokemon that can fly? I don't. You know, I'm not gonna go and get a different one. Whatever, this is fine. But I do need fly to EV trade by Pokemon, don't I? Frick. Shiny hunting part two? No, we can get three more of those if we really wanted to. Uh, we don't need to EV train you. We will need to level you up. We're gonna have to train up uh, this Pokemon real quick. Okay.
your defense. Uh, yeah. Boosted special they're boosted to defense. Good. Alright. Names are so funny, they're all named after people in chat. Uh, I believe we already trained uh Xanity. So we're just gonna level Xanity up a little bit, make it evolve. Uh Mog Punch and Fake Out should do the trick. Bro, it has a lot of stuff. Honestly, uh, uh, no. Evolving Xanity. Vacuum. What the hell does that mean? It always it's mock punch but special. Okay, no. Uh, all right, yeah, this is fine. Uh, wait, what's the learning? Torment? No, thanks! Let's get up to level 47, 4, 5, 6, no, 7. Alright. Okay, so we have you at 47. Let's level Angry up a little bit. Earth Power. Uh... That's very good, but I don't think it's good for this next upcoming fight. Let me just double check. Galactic Boss Atrioc. Wait, Crobat has U turn? And Honchkrow has Heat Wave. I've been looking at the wrong team. Oh no. I've been looking at the wrong team. Honchkrow has Brave Bird Night Slash, Thunder Wave, and Heat Wave. Um, and he has a Houndoom with Intimidate. It has Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, and Nasty Plot. The Crobat has Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Cross Poison. The Crobat's just gonna U-Turn on first turn. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, no, wait, I was looking at the wrong team again. No, 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 I was fine. I was looking at the right team. Okay. Never mind. We're good. We're good. I was just looking at the wrong team for a sec. Um. Don't mind me. Yeah, this doesn't help at all. Sorry. I was scared for a moment. Yeah. What the hell does Tickle even do? Attack and defense. Other than make you laugh. Two, forty-three, forty-four. 43, 44. Ooh. Do I use Power Gem or Ancient Power? What do you think? Yes. Someone just said yes. I use Power Gem. Why do you say, do I use a, a Power Gem or Ancient Power and you say yes? Okay, power gem. <laughs> Seven. All right. Good. Uh, we just need to level this up for the backup and then we're good. So let's just... Uh... Quickly... Kerbo... I'm just going to level Kerbo up a little bit to level 30. Sand attack. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. 25. Ancient power. None of these are good. Use items. It's actually faster to do the fights than using items, as we found. Alright. 29 and 30. Evolves at 30. Slash, yes. Through the rollout. Night slash. Okay. Um. 
That's not necessarily good for this fight, so we're not gonna learn it. Cool. What do we put the sound on? I don't know, dude. It was a mistake, wasn't it? So we're gonna... I'm pretty sure this thing has pretty high defense if I do it right. Yeah, its defense is way... It, it's really, really high. So we're just gonna max out uh, defense and HP, I think. And then we're just gonna hit it with like a rock slide or some garbage. Did his ability change? I hope not. Yeah, it's protected against crits. We're fine. So we're just gonna max out HP and defense on this one. Just so we can switch in onto the uh, the Pokemon. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So we just have to do 12 quick battles. And they will be quick. HP, hi. Alright. And literally all we need to do is just slash over and over again. Kabu Tops is the same as base game. Yes, it is. So yeah, we're just boosting its uh, its HP stat right now, and then we're boosting its a defense, so we can take hits from the Honchkrow, and then we're ready to fight the Honchkrow. But man, we did like these fights. It really slows down in the end game for like progress, because you have to prepare so heavily for every single fight. It's insane, man. <clears throat> All right. There's two. We just need to do four more of those. Then there's the Elite Four. Yeah, the Elite Four... I mean, that's gonna take so much planning, because you have to have a plan and then a backup for every plan. It's gonna be crazy. Has he bet the Elite Four? What? Have I bet the Elite... Are you talking about have I beat the Elite Four? This is- I'm five badges in on my first attempt. Bruh. Yeah, you need to have a plan for five different teams. It's crazy. I think most of the Elite Four, because you know they have a certain amount of potions, though. You could probably set up on every single Elite Four member, I bet. That's my plan. Because you know they have items, you're allowed to use items yourself, and so you can just set up on every single one. Don't you lead four have different teams themselves too? Every trainer has different teams. They're supposed to all be really good. Like, if I look through, the Elite Four, like, Eamon has a level 71 Umbreon, 71 Weavile, 71 Cacturn, 71 Swampert, 71 Snorlax, 71 Empoleon. So, like, it looks like Umbreon, it comes out first, it knows Dark Pulse, Dark Pulse, Wish, Toxic, and Protect. We set up with, like, a poison fighting type Pokemon. There's nothing it can do. Like, we get, uh... Oops. We get, like, a, 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 a psychic type poke or a, yeah, a poison type Pokemon that can set up. But, it's crazy. Weavile has an Ice Shard, Aerial Ace, Faint Attack, U-Turn. Cacturn is Sucker Punch, Stone Edge, Needle Arm, Dark Pulse, Swampert, Snorlax, and Polion. Yeah. The next one is a Hippowdon, Whiskash, Gliscor, Golem, Cyndaquil? What? <laughs> it has a, a Cyndaquil with Focus Sash and Endeavor. <laughs> and a Rhyperior. It has a... A Ninetales, a Mammoth... Mammoth Slime? Oh, it's Elite Four Slime. Yeah, nine tails, mammoth slime, quagsire, rapidash, infernet, mag, mortar. Like, lots of crazy good teams. The next one has an Espeon, Tyranitar, Bronzong, Alakazam, Metagross, Gallade. The champion. Spiritomb, Roserade, Togekiss, Lucario, Milotic, and Garchomp. They've actually been buffed an insane amount. Yeah, Focus Sash Endeavor. Oh my god, wait, we're actually really close to the- There isn't many important battles in between Gym 6 and the end.
Uh, anyways, back to this. Are we done with HP? Lots of small trainers, though, yeah. I think we were done on HP. If not, whatever. There's a 12v12 double battle. And a double battle against Dialga and Palkia? There's a double battle against Dialga and Palkia? What the... Excuse me? Bro. Alright, let's train defense. Six battles here and then we're done. Bro. This is very grindy, lol. Bro, Spoopy Ramen? You're the first person to say that. I'm not saying you're wrong, but you are the first person to say that. Because people are people were complaining earlier in the earlier days where they were like, this is cheating. Why do you have all these rare candies? Why are you not doing any grinding? This is battle number two. This is less grindy than vanilla Pokemon, exactly. The fact that they give Eevee training this is so nice, it's fantastic, yeah. Will you ever do all advancements? Yes, I will. I missed the cutie fight. What happened? She healed me before the fight, thus getting rid of my Lodix burn, making me not able to survive hits that I was expected to be able to survive, and I had to sack two Pokemon off. I had to sack uh, Gyarados and uh, Aerodactyl. It was rough. It was a rough one. Uh, Nerdsworth, El Blanco, uh, Sig, uh, Silver Ring. Thank you for the subs, by the way. I appreciate it. Which fight am I on? Probably do just one more fight and see what happens. That's really bad, sorry, yeah. She healed me thinking it, like, she she knew. That was fight number four? Okay, this is fight number four. But we managed to get another Gyarados because we happened to fight a shiny Magikarp, luckily. All right, does it make me want to play Hawks more? Do one more. Just having to find one? Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? I was t I was just telling a story and lost track of time. Jaden, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, here we go. And we're free. As far as shiny hunting goes, that was really fast. Yeah. Like I said, I'm lucky. Plus nine defense, bro. All right, I'm gonna raise this up to level forty-seven. At level forty, you learn Mega Drain. That just sucks. Why? His defense went up by, by nine. Yeah, it had to catch up to the EV training that we gave it. All right. So lucky that the reason the hunt happened was a crit on the old Gyarados. Yeah, it was bad luck, followed by good luck. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna check my moves really quick to see if we have a strong physical move that can potentially take out the, um... The bird. Should I use Rock Tomb instead of Rock Slide against it? it has higher accuracy. Whatever. Uh, we are ready to fight. Um, ready to fight now. Rock Tomb is higher accuracy. It has, uh... 
it might sound weird, but um, when you, I'll phrase it this way: Rock Slide has double the chance to miss. When you put it that way, it, it really puts it into perspective. Okay, Mystic Water Soap Scarf, Miracle Seed Charcoal Magnet, Miracle Seed Choice Scarf, Leftovers! Doo -doo. Sure. Why haven't you used a garb jump? We can't get it yet. And it's not really worth it. Okay, so the Crobat, we're gonna take it out with... Uh, Nixus. The Honchcrow, we're gonna switch between Kerbo and Angry to take it out. The Magnazone, we switch in Munch, and it cannot do anything to us. The Weavile, wait, we're not ready yet. The Weavile, we're gonna fake out. The Weavile, we're gonna fake out, and then mock Punch. We're not quite ready. I need to teach this fake out. First stream, welcome. We need to level up Munch as well, yes. And then Fantry is just a backup in case something goes wrong against the Honchkrow or Revile. And we need to, like, intimidate somehow. We should use Garchomp as one of the best mons. Once we're able to get it, we'll use it for sure. Have any trouble so far? A little bit of hiccups, but nothing too serious. Uh, you. Fake out. Uh, let's get rid of bulk up for now. And then, um... Again, just in case. I think, uh, Thunder Punch is worth it. Just in case something terrible goes wrong against some of the other Pokemon. Like, in case Honchkrow or Crobat get the best of us. Alright. And... I believe we're ready now. Ludwig ever complete this? I believe Ludwig did manage to complete this after a long, long while. Do we learn Synthesis on Munch soon? Oh my god. Synthesis and Curse? Oh, and it can't be crit? This thing is now an absolute monster. It can't be crit because it has shell armor. <laughs> how many runs did Ludwig take and how many have you done? I haven't done one yet. I'm in the middle of my first one. It's the Munch Munch, uh, Gyarados. You know what? Why am I bringing Gyarados? I should bring you. As a backup. You're much better. PP Boost Synthesis? Uh, I'm not gonna burn it, though. I hope we don't regret that. Fire Punch better than Flame Wheel because of Iron Fist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would. Does Munch learn any defense-increasing moves? Yeah? It's, it's Curse. It raises attack and defense. John the Basilisk, thank you so much for the five subs. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. All that hunting and not gonna use it? Not gonna hunt, not gonna use it for now. We will be using it, though. Don't worry. Uh, I should probably give it a fire type thing, shouldn't I? Like a charcoal or something. Do you have any charcoals up here? Uh, 
No, wait. We have a better thing. I just want to guarantee that this works. Uh, I need to take the item, take the silk scarf. Good. Go down to the bottom. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Give to you. All right. Um, might as well give you this. Okay, awesome. What about the Gwet you have in the PC? Why not use that one? Does it evolve at level 47? I don't want to get over leveled. You have the end behind the Pokemon Center? Can I? Oh, I can. I thought that was Rock Climb. You're gonna stop me with Rock Climb. Huh. Do you want to take the Pokeball? Wait, what? It said, do you want to take the Pokeball from inside the... Does this trigger a Celebi fight? Gyarados sells leftovers? Okay. It's the GS ball. I don't care. Let's just go in. Do I Silk Scarf or Fake Out? Examine it. All right, here we go. Powerful deities, greater balance, elder. Who might you be? My name is Atriok, also an elder. I want to put an end to this pointless strife and hostility, seeing the power to create an ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. Will you pointless attitude? A new legend. Am I wrong? Challenge me. Sure. Why well, do you want to protect this incomplete world? I am the boss of Team Galactic. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, Galactic boss, Atriok. It's going to hypnosis. We're going to hope hypnosis misses. It did not hypnosis. Let's go. I flinched. I have nothing for this. This is the only way I get screwed. It has a super effective move for everyone else on my team. Does this- does he have a potion? I think Atriok is one potion. You didn't have any Chesto Berries? No, I didn't. I don't know where I can find this information. Where do I find out where he, where he uses items? Watch Lud's battle. Wiki decks. What the hell is that?
he has two hyper potions. Bulbapedia. Is this the furthest progress you've made in a run? Yes. It is the only run I've ever done. Maybe Angry is a rock type. He has Giga Drain. Are we sure he has two hyper potions? Cerebi? He has two hyper potions and one full restore? In the regular game, he has hypers. They have the same. They have the same. In the modded version, they have the same items. No, wrong fight. There are two hyper potions. Oh yeah, items. Here we go. Items, he has a Hyper Potion. Yeah, 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 he has Hyper Potions, okay. So we can use the equivalent of a Hyper Potion, which is an Energy Root. Yeah. Miss. Good. Okay. Woke up, you Zen headbutt. Finally. Okay, it's gonna use a dark move. We're gonna switch an angry to start here. That was stupid, dude. You swagger. That's fine. We're going to power jump. Er. Stealth Rock? I'm gonna power jump. Why did that do so much? Why did that do so much? That wasn't even a crit. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Magnazone. It literally cannot touch Munch. Yep, idiot. The worst it can do is Mirror Coat. All right, ground doesn't resist. I completely forgot. In my head, ground resists you. It doesn't matter, but. 79 damage? What if that KO'd me? No. If that was a crit. If that was a crit, we could have gotten screwed there. Alright. We kind of want it to Swords Dance. That's what we want. We buy all Swords Dance, please. That's cool, too. Fake out. Oops. You flinched. Mock Punch? Wait. Mock Punch will KO. Yeah, 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 we're fine. We're good. Oh, yeah, much of shell armor. Never any risk. Easy. All right. No problems. It was an easy fight, Atriok. Old man, my prowess is notable. Oh. Attitude, need to know, time and space brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange man spouting nonsense. Belongs to my granddaughter. Okay, we got Surf, good. What's stronger, Technician Mock Punch or Iron Fist Mock Punch? I'm not sure. Oh, that was so people stopped asking about the category, Snee. So they just literally can't type the question in chat. Technician is 1.5, Iron Fist is 1.2. Alright, so I guess uh, we would 
I guess technician would be much stronger then. Alright. I should go to the PAL park. What? Whew. So now apparently we need to go to the PAL park? Bro, what? Alright, let's bring our variety Pokemon team, and apparently we need to fight the Pal Park Castle Valet Automated. Who is a Gallade, Alakazam, Metagross, Staraptor, Entei. Yikes. That is terrifying. An Expert Belt Alakazam. He has a Metagross as well. And a Staraptor. And an Entei? Bro. What level are they? 48. Looking at these numbers, though, I think we'll probably go up to level, like, 51. I wonder if there's- is there any way we can set up on Gallade? It has Leaf Blade, Close Combat, Night Slash, and Psycho Cut. That coverage is insane. And it has a Scope Lens, too. Um... We're probably gonna have to use our, um, munch against it. I don't friggin' know though, dude. Whatever. Um, move this out. I kind of really like unused routes. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm gonna bring. F nope. uh, we're gonna bring Fantry and maybe Dusk Noir. I really like bringing, for like, random battles, having just a bunch of defensive Pokemon is super useful. Yeah, this is good. Swampert against Entei. Yeah, it has Stone Age, Extreme Speed, Iron Head, and Sacred Fire. For sure, that'll work. Skarmory for Gallade. Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Close Combat, Leaf Blade. Uh, it's probably just gonna Close Combat or Night Slash. I don't, it, if it if it gets a crit, it probably won't hit KOs. Yeah, I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to prepare for that. Evolve Gabite. What are, what are does Garchomp have any good defensive stats? Because I am a little bit suspicious because you guys are saying Garchomp is so good, but like. Skarmory is sturdy, yeah, but it works the way normal sturdy works. Like, is Garchomp actually that defensive? Because, like, we need to survive- we need to switch in and survive hits. I think for this one... Here is my idea, all right? I'm seeing the team. Gallade, Alakazam, Metagross, Staraptor, Entei, right? If we open up, what 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 is Gallade? What is the typing of Gallade? I can never remember. Is it Fighting Psychic? It's Fighting Psychic, right? If we get Aerodactyl, it'll outspeed everything guaranteed. We give Aerodactyl Earthquake. We give Aerodactyl Fly. We give Aerodactyl Crunch. 
we give Aerodactyl some move to deal with Staraptor. It can sweep all of the Pokemon. Stone Edge, Stone Edge can miss. You've already had an Aerodactyl, it died. Like, if we have a fast flying rock Pokemon, it'll sweep. Is Staraptor still flying? I would guess it is. Staraptor, it has the reckless ability and not intimidate. That's awesome. Uh, let's go get... Uh, let's go try and get two more Aerodactyls. Which is change schedule for this week? You don't have to ask me. Okay, we're just gonna deposit two random Pokemon for now. But I'm pretty sure an Aerodactyl can sweep, and if an Aerodact- if one Aerodactyl doesn't sweep, we can just bring a second one. Because we technically are able to have two Aerodactyls here. Then we don't need to worry about it, because I'm pretty sure none of the Pokemon, no priority. Right? Metagross's Bullet Punch. Entei has Extreme Speed. I mean, we could always switch out for Metagross and find out a better solution. Do we only get one old Amber? Okay. <clears throat> well... We get three of all of them, but only one old Amber. What we could do... What we could do is, we just need a, a really big glass cannon for this fight. Plus attack, minus speed. Potentially, our X could do it. <clears throat> right? Garchomp, maybe with Crunch. Bino, thank you. As we told you, Garchomp. Okay. So what 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 are, what are we dealing with? It has Earthquake, which will destroy the Alakazam. It'll destroy the Metagross. What does a Shucka Berry do? Please don't be a ground type move. Damn it, it prevents a super effective ground type attack. Alright, um. We'll need to probably max out this thing's attack and speed. Uh, but I bet a maxed out RX with an Earthquake and maybe Soft Sand. It could take out Gallade, it could probably outspeed Alakazam, take that out in one hit. It could one-shot the Metagross. Um, uh, it could probably one-shot the Staraptor with, if we give it a good enough move. And Entei, uh, well, it has Sacred Fire, Stone Edge, Extreme Speed, and Iron Head. Um, we could just probably end up using... I don't know, one of our various water types. So I think we're gonna... I think it's time. To use RX. Uh, something we need to do is I need to check if it'll even outspeed the Alakazam and the Staraptor, because aren't they fast? It won't outspeed Alakazam. It might, with, with investment. Speed is 100 on Staraptor. Alakazam's base speed is 120. Alright, I'm gonna open up some calcs real quick. We're gonna go Alakazam. Blank set. Okay, it uh, we do not know Alakazam's 
ability, so we have to assume it's fast. So we have to assume it's plus speed. Okay, and it is level... 48. So level 48, it has 148 speed. With our current setup here, RX, our speed is 46, so let's switch Gabite, blank set, just to check its stats really quick. Um, it's speed, it's level 25, its ability is brave, plus attack minus speed. Okay. Quivery, thanks for the two months. CJ Hunt, thanks for the prime. Eyebrow Boy with the tier one, thank you so much. Almost back up to 9k. I'm nervous about this, man. Uh, it actually has a really good speed ivy, it looks like. Uh, not terrible. 24. 24 speed. So if we crank this thing up to, let's say, a Garchomp. 24 speed. Okay. A Garchomp that is... Plus attack minus speed with 24. And is level 25, or is level 48. There is no shot we ever outspeed the Alakazam. It is impossible. Our speed stat will be 129. And Alakazam's will be 148. Uh, we can't use Choice Scarf because it could switch in, um... Mr. Raptor. I don't even know if I have a Scarf. Quick Claw, that activates one-fifth of the time. Can I Dragon Dance? I won't be able to set up a Dragon Dance, no. Well... No, this, the Gallade is a Scope Lens. We can't. We could focus Sash, but then we can't survive a bullet puncher in extreme speed. Sandveil doesn't prevent you from getting hit. It just gives you one stage of evasion. Against Alakazam, are there any Pokemon that are strong that can learn Sucker Punch? You have to use Sub, Salak, Swords Dance. Gross. Shiny Hunt for a, a better Gibble? I don't think in any world it outspeeds. Sandville Bright Powder? You're funny. If we have a strong Pokemon that can survive one hit from Alakazam... Oh, ah. Uh. Uh, Infernape can't take a single hit from Alakazam. We might be able to focus Sash it then. Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast. And it has an Expert Belt. For Alligator is a Psych, uh, Water Dark, so it gets hit by Dazzling Gleam and Focus Blast. Can you see the EV spread on Zam? It doesn't have any EVs. They never have EVs. Hmm. What wouldn't Hound Hour work? Uh, the Focus Blast, probably. The Expert Belt Focus Blast would probably destroy me. Did 
Do we have a Wobbuffet? I wish. <clears throat> I have no idea what we could do to take on this Alakazam. Focus Blast, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic. Metagross? Focus Blast is still going to do a lot. We could EV train special defense. If you're dark type, Dazzling Gleam is super effective. Is he doesn't want physical or special? We can switch between. Use grass type, it resist psychic. Okay, here's my idea. New idea. If we can find an insanely strong Pokemon that can learn Sucker Punch. We can Sucker Punch Gallade, Sucker Punch Alakazam, Sucker Punch Met Metagross. Those are all super effective. So, if we can just get a Pokemon that's strong with Sucker Punch. Can Infernape learn Sucker Punch? I'm just gonna sucker punch. Uh, Eradicate learns it. Ekans learns it. Arbok learns it. Nidoran. Nidorino. Nido King. Diglett. Yo, wait. Diglett could be our answer. We have a Diglett, don't we? Bro, doesn't matter. Um, 28 flats. Diglett. Rash. A Diglett could do it, cause it isn't its uh, attack pretty high. And Doug Trio is super fast. We could outspeed even. Like we might not even need Sucker Punch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doug Trio does learn Night Slash, but Sucker Punch is stronger. I think. We'll see. Um, okay, we are level 28. I'm just gonna check the stats on this to see if it has good IVs at all. Uh, no, it actually has crap. It has 8 attack. How's its speed though? Its speed is 31. Okay, it has 80 attack, but 31 speed. If I give it 242, it will guaranteed outspeed the Alakazam. But my god, does its attack suck. I don't think it can one-hit KO anything. I'm gonna be honest. Um... If we give it an item for soft sand, let's see, wait a minute. Focus Sash and two Sucker Punches? Well, it'll outspeed, so we don't even need Sucker Punch. Earthquake is a guaranteed one-hit KO on Alakazam. Um, 
I'm gonna check Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is a guaranteed one-hit KO at Alakazam. Or, uh, let's check, um... Okay, Alakazam can take on one hit with Gallade. Gallade does not have any priority. It's level 48 with Scope Lens. Let's check Gallade. See if I can one-hit KO with Earthquake on Gallade. What level is it? Gallade's level 48? Okay. This could work. Level 48 Gallade. Um... I'm just gonna give it a neutral. We know Metagross won't be one hit. It could be, though. It could be. Um, Earthquake is a guaranteed two-hit KO. Ah, damn it. Even with Earthquake? That's Earthquake, yeah. Soft Sand Earthquake... To 72 to 85%. Uh, can I learn Shadow Claw though? Shadow Claw is less. Try it with a choice band. Fifty percent chance to one hit KO. Okay, what if I get it to level 53? 87% chance to KO. Because <laughs> uh, 53 is our cap. Pokemon with your name? Maybe we can catch one soon. How does one Sucker Punch do on Metagross? Not well. Ludwig mentioned to you. On Moist Critical Stream, yeah. 87% chance is enough. No, it's not. Can't you sack someone? I'd rather not. Like, Diglett it gets one shot. Okay, well, let, let's figure out... Let's find a duff, different Pokemon. Maybe we can get a Dark-type Pokemon. Or something that has, um... That has Sucker Punch. I'm gonna keep looking. Victory Bell. Ghastly. It's never gonna work. Uh, Kangaskhan, if we could have caught one. Spinarak. Sudowoodo. Needs to be fast. Or no, it doesn't have to be fast. Murkrow. Do we have a Murkrow? Is Absol available? If we really need to, we could always shiny hunt. There's a Sucker Punch that we can give to Houndour. Is it's attack good? Plus defense minus speed. All we need is a Pokemon with really high attack that can learn Sucker Punch. Did you see Point Grow jumping off an airplane holding a sax? No, I haven't blocked on Twitter. We should shiny hunt for an Absol. Yeah. Stunky gets it? Well, we don't have a Stunky. Could you use Diglett, Earthquake, and Metronome? No, because then they could just send a Seraptor and destroy me. Shiftry might be the one. Look at these are the Pokemon that we have. We don't have a Shiftry. Have we ever used Steel Wolf at all? I don't think we have, right? Drapion with the Cherubi trade? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna calc a steel wolf really quick. 
28. Just because I this this fight seems doable if we can sucker punch. Flat Rising, thank you for the year. Umbreon learns sucker punch. Is its attack good though? Drapion would be good. We could trade for a Drapion, yeah. Uh, what nature is this? I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect attack. Relaxed. Hound Dower. A relaxed one. Okay, relaxed. And if it has um, choice band on it, maybe. A choice banded Hound Dower with a max attack. 242. And actually, no, wait. Let's check the level really quick to see what its IVs are. Need to do the math on that one. 28. I hate that we have to take so long to do this, but it is what it is. It has 13 attack IVs. Okay. Alright. Let's check Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch with an item choice band. 80% damage to 95% damage. That's not enough. Cluelessness, thanks for the Prime. Jay Monroe, thanks for the Tier 1 Molotov with the 5 months. Kangaskhan is fake out in Sucker Punch. If only we had a Kangaskhan. <laughs> <sighs> Let's check Skaroopy. Uh... Drapion with a Sucker Punch. Level 51. Um... It does, it does even less, I think. Yeah, it does even less. <laughs> Metagross destroys Alakazam, not because the, it has Focus Blast. Yo, Hype Train, let's go. Jace, thanks for the 194 bits. And a Fiverr, thanks for the Prime. Drippy is the exact same attack, yeah. I'm gonna check Furret really quick. Because I'm pretty sure it's, a, uh, its attack was boosted to 85, actually. It's not great. It does learn Sucker Punch. It also learns Extreme Speed. Pivot between Rotom and Metagross to waste Focus Blasts? What? Does Dustin War Shadow Sneak not one shot? Well, we have to switch in, is the problem. Ghibli, thank you so much for the gift sub. Wasn't Doug Trio almost also boosted? If Doug Trio was boosted, that's crazy. No, it wasn't. I'm gonna keep looking for Sucker Punch. There's gotta be a Pokemon that can learn Sucker Punch that's better. Gengar. Mighty Anna, but we don't have that. Sableye, we don't have that. Um, Mawile, we don't have that. Cacnea. Don't think we have that. 
Kecleon, we don't have that one. Nidoking, yo, yeah, Nidoking, that's true, actually. What's Nidoking's attack stat? Ninety-two. Uh, it's not good enough. It doesn't get stabbed. Isn't Float so faster than Alakazam? Uh, we have to have a way to KO every Pokemon in a single hit, basically. <clears throat> Warwick, thank you so much for the gift sub. Metagross and Tank, two Focus Blasts. Nidoking got a 10 attack buff? Wait, did it, actually? No, it didn't. You're lying. <laughs> EQ from Abandoned Doug Trio should one-shot? It does not. It does not. I wish it did. It does not. Uh, we need to take out the Gallade. It's not a high enough chance. Says on the dock that Nido King is 102. I'm on the dock right now and it says no changes. Maybe IV drain Nido King, yeah. <laughs> if we could get an Absol, that would be insanely good. It is a 130 base attack. I'm gonna check an Absol. Blank set, middle of the road IVs, level 51. You give it 242. Sucker punch. Uh, sucker punch with a... Item black glasses, maybe even? Not quite. Choice band? Okay, wait a minute. A sucker punch would KO the Gallade, it would KO the Alakazam. It's super effective on the Metagross. Let's check Metagross now. I'm gonna check Metagross. This might be it. I think an Absol. We could always just shiny hunt for an Absol if we really need to. Is the band permanent until I win? What level is Metagross? Metagross is level 48. Uh, Sucker Punch is super effective though. Uh, guaranteed Oko on the Metagross. Guaranteed one-hit KO on the Metagross with Sucker Punch. Um, if it's, if it has a choice band. It is super effective against Metagross in this gen. Uh, the Staraptor has a King's Rock. It has Return, Brave Bird, Close Combat, and Roost. Let's see if it can KO the, the Staraptor. Level 48. Uh, against a Staraptor, it is a 56% chance to one-hit KO. Jay Savini's next with a thousand bits, but we can we can just send in for the Staraptor. We could probably bring. I don't know. Uh, it has close combat return in Brave Bird. We would just use a regular Rotom or something against that. Just bring regular Rotom, right? And then, uh... Or just a ghost type in general. Entei. The one thing I'm afraid of with the Absol is if the Absol's out and the Gallade, if, the, if it... So let's say we finish off the Gallade, right? 
We finish off the Gallade, and then they send in Staraptor, and I cannot KO it with Absol. I'm gonna have to switch in another Pokemon later. We do need to counter the entire Park Castle Valet, who is a Gallade, Alakazam, Metagross, Staraptor, and an Entei. I used up 1500 bits, think right side, Lime Rainbows with 100 bits, uh, a Daisy Dog with a tier 1, Burwick with the Prime, uh, thank you so much. You can use potions, by the way? Yeah. Does Metagross counter the Straptor? Yeah, we'll probably use Metagross. Maybe we'll, like, uh, lose something. I'm not exactly sure. Why does the Entei have Sacred Fire? Because it's a good move. It has Brave Bird and Reckless, actually. Yeah, that's true. Chase, thank you for the thousand more bits, and what is Luxray? Thank you for the Prime. Oh, that, that's Absol with 31 attack IVs, actually. We can't get that either. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I filled out the EVs wrong. Hmm. Here's the thing, if we get this Absol, there's no guarantee that we still win. Because I think there's a few areas that we haven't visited yet. I wonder if there's an Absol we can get. Dusk Noir, Burn Gallade, Switch Gyarados, Intimidate Dragon Dance. It has a scope lens and every one of its moves are high, high, high critical hit ratio moves. Um, think Bright Side, thank you for the 1500. I don't know, thank you so much for the 1500 bits. Um, Dakota, thank you for the nine months. God, there's so many. Uh, Jace, thank you for the thousand as well. So yeah, it's going to get a critical hit. We have to assume every move is a crit against that. Where did we even get it? I don't know, I'm sure you could find it somewhere. Wild Pokemon, Absol. There's a 22% chance of getting an Absol on a Poke Radar. 10% in Mount Coronet Snow Area. 10%. Yeah, our highest chance is using the Poke Radar on Route 213. 22%. Why did I get notified of you? Oh. You broke the rules, dude? Oh, you already timed out. Cool. <sighs> Is Night Slash not strong enough? It's strong enough, but Absol won't be fast enough. And Sucker Punch is stronger anyways. Yeah, if we don't even get an Absol, I, I don't think we can use an Absol. I, I don't think that strategy will work. The odds are super low. It's a nice idea, but I don't think it'll work. If we can get a Pokemon with that high of attack, and kind of guarantee that we get it, that would be sick. But I'm just gonna look through, it looks like, wait, Luxray is now Psychic, or er, Electric Dark, which is interesting. Hmm. Breloom? How strong is Breloom? Let's learn Sucker Punch. We can always do the um, the other way of doing it. Hmm. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to make a, a set for every Pokemon. I think a single Pokemon isn't gonna take out this team. Um. All right. Sugary substances, thanks to the tier one. Is this a hardcore Nuzlocke or just a normal one? What's the difference? Ruby Ultimate, thank you for the tier three. Thank you. So, my goodness. Thank you so much. Brillum Spore and Mach Punch Sweep could work. 
And today is extreme speed, which outspeeds. But it won't use that, it'd use uh, Sacred Fire. If you wipe, you lose? Oh, yeah, yeah, if you wipe, you lose. Usually, the added rules with set mode and no overleveling makes it hardcore? Okay, apparently, we're doing a hardcore one. Okay, actually, let's let's check Brittle really quick. Plus attack, minus special defense. With poison heal. Not iron fist. Let's let's check the stats. No using hot items in battle, pretty much, yeah. It gets spore at level 54. Really? Let me check. It probably learns it earlier than that. I bet it's been changed, so it learns it earlier. It learned sport level 19 in this. Yeah, and then it learns mock punch at level 23. Okay. Let's check, uh, what are... If if we we could spore swords dance, how many turns does spore guarantee? We have the TM for swords dance. A breloom could sweep potentially. Let let's check the stats of brittle really quick. We get guaranteed one. Okay. Shroomish's attack. It's level fifteen. It has a, a attack boosting nature, correct? Yeah, naughty. Okay. It currently has twenty to attack. Which means it has minimum twenty attack IVs. That's awesome. If we max out its attack, give it two fifty two. Let's go uh Breloom. Breloom with 22, 242, level 50. And status, it's at plus 2. And a mock punch. What item should we give it? Uh, we have to give it Focus Sash. We have to give it Focus Sash, because it's just going to cycle cut and kill us in one hit otherwise. <clears throat> this won't work. I just realized this won't work. Because here's what's going to happen. We're going to set up a Swords Dance on the Gallade, right? We're going to use... Folk mock punch, it's not gonna KO the Gallade. Even if it does, they send out the Entei next. We're on 1 HP, it has extreme speed and sacred fire. If you're using items, just use X items and boost to infinity. No, I can't use items. Use a full restore just to get KO'd with the Sacred Fire. Isn't priority in this game, same prio. I'm pretty sure Extreme Speed is the only move that has higher priority. Um. Almost are a good counter against Ente. I think it's okay, yeah. <sighs> what should you sub right now? I don't know, you want to. Potentially. Can Torterra cursed boost against Gallade? Yes, it could. Gallade will likely psycho cut. 
The thing is, we probably won't be able to survive against an Alakazam. That's the one thing that I'm scared about. Because Alakazam is Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast. But what we could potentially do is set up Curse. What we could do is, it's going to use Psycho Cut. It cannot crit because we have Shell Armor. We curse up and use curse and synthesis. Um, the Entei was Sacred Fire though. Sacred Fire is Sacred Fire physical or special? I'm gonna check. I'm pretty sure it's special. It's physical. Sacred Fire move, it was introduced. Inversions, in previous versions. Yeah! That is amazing! If it's physical and it cannot crit, then I think, I think a cursing um, munch could do it. All we would need to do is take a psychic from a Alakazam. Sacred Fire has a 50% chance to burn. But we can, uh, we can give ourselves a Rossberry. Like, a Rossberry is nothing. We have that. Yeah, Gallade will likely cycle cut, but again, it can't crit. Curse, Synthesis. Um, Earthquake takes out Entei, Metagross, Alakazam, Gallade. Okay, is there any way we can burn Gallade without having any concerns? If we could burn Gallade, this could be super clutch. Dusk Noir? It has Night Slash. It could crit the Dusk Noir. Do we have Will-O-Wisp? You could trick a Flame Orb? That took so long to get. Do we have the Will-O-Wisp? TM? We do. We just need to survive a Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Close Combat, Leaf Blade. We have to survive one of those hits. Um, That's gonna get Close Combat and destroyed. I'm not sacking a Pokemon just for a single Will-O-Wisp and it could miss. item to burn on contact? No, there is not. Like, can, can beans or something learn it? <laughs> Rotom can learn Will-O-Wisp, but Gallade is Leaf Blade. We could switch the typing of this. We could change this to like a um, Gra Gr Rotom Mo, but then they're just gonna close combat and the high crit chance. <sighs> this is tough. This is tough. Rotom Fan? Yeah, actually, Rotom Fan would be best. Because then it's not gonna Leaf Blade, it's not gonna close combat. Knight's Psycho Cut? It's, it'll use Psycho Cut, though. That's Stab.
which I'm kind of tanky though. Yeah. Charizard type Typhlosion. It can't survive a crit psycho cut. I'm gonna check something really quick. Special defense is 90 at level 47. I'm gonna calc to see if you can survive one Alakazam hit. We know it cannot crit. So... Torterra... What's your special defense? Pokemon, I'm doing my best. Can Torterra survive a single... A single hit. Against... An Alakazam Psychic. If it can, most likely we can win this. Oh, it does 52%. A modest Alakazam. Just max of 62%. Hey! Why not? Thanks for the 10. Um, yeah, I think as long as we can get up to plus 6 on Munch. Like, because we cannot get crit. We set up six curses and synthesize in between, or synthesis in between. We can just Earthquake, 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 Earthquake. Even a super effective move comes through, it can't be a critical hit. We have six curses up. Our defense is... You know, we, we can make that a little bit better. Like, th this this can certainly work. I think we're gonna we're gonna try this. How do you deal with Staraptor? It is Brave Bird, but we're at plus six. Literally, just just teach it a better, like... We can one-shot it as long as we can hit it. We'll teach our Pokemon, like, uh... I don't know. Some move? That's physical? What's a physical move that we can learn? Return, maybe. I'm pretty sure my friendship is zero. Let's check strength's power. Do we have strength yet? We do not. I'm sure there's a move we can learn. You can learn Iron Head. There we go, Iron Head. Perfect. Let's go Pastoria. That will one hit KO the Staraptor. And like, let, let's check. Okay, I'm gonna do the calc right now. A Staraptor with its ability Reckless. Brave Bird. <clears throat> Against our Torterra. Let's say it has a plus attack nature. It does... 118%. It's a guaranteed one-hit KO. Really? At plus six? Robot, thanks for the prime. 
Oh, it's at level 100. It does 35%. We're fine. That was a level 100. A level 100 Seraptor would deal 100% damage. Yeah, we'll be fine. Alright, I think this is the strat we're going with. Munch. Gonna iron head it up, I think. Um... Can get rid of Seed Bomb. Did you damage calc the Gallade? Let's damage calc the Gallade now and see how much it does. Gallade, blank set, level 48. <clears throat> What's the best move it's going to use against us? Um, close combat is the best move that it can use against us. Close combat... Um, if it uses close combat, that is the highest damage it can do. Let's give it a positive attack. All right. So, Gallade's close combat against our level 47. Grant, our 47. This isn't even leveled up. 47 Torterra deals 49.7 to 58.5%. Which means that if we curse on the first turn... Which means if we curse on the first turn, it can survive the second turn. So we can just swap in, in between Synthesis and Curse until we get to plus six. And then we guaranteed uh, we'll be, be able to KO it. Because Synthesis, we can use it every second turn. Uh, there's no even reason to burn it. So... Uh, check its damage at plus one. It, it, it won't do anything. It'll do... Uh... It'll do 39%. Max. Crit, though? Shell armor. Protect against critical hits. Literally impossible. <clears throat> Is there a chance the AI is switching before you get to plus six? I don't think so. And even if it does... Like, if we're at plus one... I'm pretty sure we want to KO the Alakazam. Um... The one thing... Yeah, alright. I like this strategy. This will work. So I'm gonna level up Torterra to level 51. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Will you receive a heal before the battle? I friggin' hope not, dude. And Munch should be able to sweep the entire team. Um, but we have to have backups for everyone. So, the Alakazam has Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast. I think Sweppy can handle that. Let's try and get a super effective move for Sweppy. Can Sweppy learn something like Dark Pulse? I think we have Dark Pulse. Maybe we do not have Dark Pulse? We do not have Dark Pulse, okay. Kempa carry, thanks for the prime. Okay, but I'm fairly sure Sweppy should be able to handle it. Like, we have Recover, Confuse Ray, Moonblast. It's decent, right? Is this excessive preparation? No. This, if, if we lose a Pokemon on this, it could wipe out our entire team. Um, the Staraptor? Uh, 
I think against the Staraptor, our Metagross should be fine. So we'll use a Staraptor against the Metagross. Against the Entei, it has Sacred Fire, Stone Edge. We need to switch in for that. Um... <clears throat> This is necessary preparation, for sure. Uh, actually, against the Entei, nothing can be done against Sapphire. Hmm. Defense is 82. That's kind of garbage. But, I mean, we can Waterfall. I think we could probably survive one hit. Yeah, we should be fine here. It is only level 42, so that should be fine. Um, yeah, the Staraptor. We should use um, Metagross. It could probably take one close combat and then kill it with the reduced defenses with a Bullet Punch the next turn. We do still have Bullet Punch. Right? And we have the Iron Fist as well. Cool. Um, so we have some for the Alakazam. We need something for the Metagross. Metagross is Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, Hammer Armor, and Bullet Punch. So Metagross. Um... I don't think Zen Headbutt's going to help at all in this battle, so let's get rid of Zen Headbutt for now. What are you preparing for? Uh, a really difficult fight. But it has Earthquake. No, it does not. It has Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, Hammer Arm, and Bullet Punch. Think. Think. Um. Okay, so Metagross can go with Metagross and Staraptor, but let's have one more... I think we're going to bring um, Skarmory for those two as well. Skarmory for Metagross and Staraptor. Was trying to get an Entei? I don't know. I'm just going to check if Skarmory can learn Earthquake. No. Oof. Thought it could. Togstall is always an option. Not against Metagross. Uh... Huh... Is the Amistar bulky? Uh, Entei has... Yeah, actually it could. Let's see, let's check Amistar. I'm pretty sure your defense is ridiculous, right? Shell armor, critical hit, we can power gem it. That's actually probably their best bet, yeah. You know what? Uh, we're gonna bring Angry instead of that for the Entei. Angry 100% can take it. The worst it can do is Stone Edge us. Okay, <clears throat> I'm feeling good about this now. Uh, we need to deal with just the uh, Staraptor and Metagross. I mean, that can deal with the that. I just want one more for the Staraptor slash Metagross combo, just in case something goes down. Hmm. I'm nervous, man. Put a Lepibari on Torterra. We guaranteed won't because 100% chance we can... Um, we'll, we'll still have two syntheses after we're done setting up, I believe. Probably more than that. If ready with Thunder Punch? No, I want to have something to be able to switch in and take a hit. I don't want to sack anyone. Uh, I can't ter survive. You're especially defensive, right? Yes. Is it fine if you get healed? It is fine if we get healed, yes. Which fight is this for? This is for the Pal Park Castle Valet Automated. Metagross wouldn't do much against Swampert. Mm, Hammer Arm does a lot. Hammer Arm does a lot. You need two Pokemon to take on Entei? I don't think so. Because look at, look at Amastar's... Look at Amastar's HP and defense. And it's Shell Armor. Protected by critical hits. Like a stealth rock, and that could be enough. And like, if, if it's gonna be using 
like stone edge on me or something, we could always do switch into this and just like bullet punch and finish it off. Rotom Heat is a good backup. Is our Rotom physically defensive? Okay, yeah. I like that. You know what? We're gonna do that. Alright, I think here's our team. I don't have a Pokemon to fly. Wait, what did I take off? Did I take something off the team by accident? All right. Oh. Choice scarf. Wait, why did Crobat have a choice scarf? Weird. Empty slot. Okay. None of them have anything insanely good for uh, Fantry, so we could always just use that as a good pivot. What did I need to do? I needed to do something. I need to go down here. No. Rotom. Right, right, right. Yeah. To turn it, yeah? Did Stake die? Unfortunately, Stake did die, yeah. Pass one day on the clock? Yep. Wait, you have to teach it overheat? Fire Blast, Overheat is the only fire move it learns. Okay. I think this is our team. Hopefully the first strategy works. If it doesn't, that's fine. Levitate. Defense is still... Good. Alright. Uh, do we need to do anything else? I think we're good. Can you breed Pokemon? No, generally breeding is off limits. Okay. Um... Yes, that's actually exactly what we need for the Alakazam. Uh, Scald. Because Sweppy is the Alakazam counter. I'm going to level up to 50. I'm not sure if we're going to encounter any trainers, though. So I'm just going to try and be careful and uh, be a little bit conservative. We'll level up to 51 once we get there. How do you get rid of candies? They give you them in the in the game, so you don't have to grind. But there is a level cap. Yeah, I know there's a few trainers on the way to the Pal Park. Okay. I do need to teach one Pokemon Surf. Uh, we're probably gonna teach our Amastar Surf, because I think you only have Bubble Beam. Yes. Okay. All right.
Bro, 219. Trainer Pokemon. Are there a lot of trainers here? There are two trainers. But there's also Route 220. And 221. You know what? <laughs> I hate to do this to you guys. I'm starting to get hungry. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm starting to get tired. If we keep going, I feel like I might potentially make a mistake. So, I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna ha I don't wanna make a mistake during this fight and I'm starting to feel the exhaustion. We're gonna continue this. Um, not next week. Next week, I am taking the week off. Next week, we're going to be doing, um, uh, the next time I do this, we will hopefully be getting at least two badges. Next Pokemon stream, which is two weeks from now, I will be getting two badges. We're going to see how this goes. But because it's in two weeks, you might forget. Be sure to follow if you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, tomorrow, Pantheon 5 and Hollow Knight. Beating every boss in a row without dying. Hopefully that goes well. And uh, Friday, 12 hours of Minecraft. Or IPB. I'm just going to stream until IPB. Or I stream for 12 hours. Whichever comes first. Good few streams the rest of the week before I have my week off. Good stream today. It was mostly strategizing. This day was significantly different than the normal days, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It was uh, it was a really good stream. Um, we're going to find someone to raid. Um, we're going to raid Lickle today. I feel like we raided my mom earlier in the week. Right? We're going to raid Lickle. Lickle did some amazing emotes. Um, there's a new emote that Lickle made. Small bonk. That could be your raid message. Small bonk, if you're subbed. Sound good? Alright, let's go small bonk, Lickle. Let's go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.